Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Welcome, 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 welcome. Lovely to see you all out here. Hi, everybody. How are we doing today? Come on in, come on in, come on in. The stream has begun. In order for a VOD watcher to leave the comment, we started talking about 341, so make sure you put that in the comments down there. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Hi, everybody. How are we doing today? Good to see you all out here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my gosh. I always am just like, you know what? I'm just going to throw up a random stream. We'll see if anybody shows and see how it goes. And then today I was like, you know what? I, I'm i going crazy doing this by myself. There's only, only so many TV shows and movies I can watch while I'm grinding away. And I was like, I can just, I can stream. I can have some people to talk to while I'm working on this stuff. So here we are today. We're going to be doing it. We'll see how long this lasts. Sorry, trying to move my mat around so I can stand. How are we doing, everybody? Scribbly Dibbly, hi, hi, hi. Miss Galley, Yentl, how is it going? Hello, Lily, hello, 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 hello. Doing swell. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Excellent choice of word. Damien, how's it going? How's it going? Chris, Lego boy, and the misplaced Lego right after each other. So, you know, there we go. There we go. Lorena, what's going on? Ashley, hi, hi, hi. Blue Siren, hello, hello. Jax, what's up? I see we got Fisher, we got Awesome Hugo, we got Lucas, we got Cammy, we got Shanae, we got Merritt. Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? Eggs. Thank you kindly. I'm definitely here by choice. I yeah, 100%. To totally here. Yahoo. Wow. Your music is awesome. Good choices. <laughs> Alex, holy cow. Thank you so very much for the dono. I really do appreciate that. This is actually the same music playlist I've been using for a long time. I've been using these, uh, these songs and videos for a really, really long time. So maybe it just cycled to be in the intro where it had front and center. But thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well today. Excellent to have you in the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So for this today, I think we can just get right on into it. My friends, if you haven't already, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a ton. So I very, very much do appreciate it. We got 600 people in here. And uh, we got almost 300 likes, so I really do appreciate it. First step here is uh, I want to pick up all the flowering leaves. Oh, we have some regular azaleas. We can transfer those over here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And then we'll just take that. And I want to move all of the flowering ones that I have back because and then I got a bunch more regular bushes and moss blocks so we can expand the platform out here I've been working with. And then I, we're going to need to fix up the hoe eventually, but we'll see how far we can get on those and gathering. That's half durability. I don't need to repair it yet. Yeah, grinding for the stonks. This is kind of where I've been slowly growing and expanding all the azalea bushes and everything. Uh, it's a it's a wee bit much. It's been a it's been a grind. For reference, for reference, Please stats, times used. We are now up to 46,000 azalea leaves placed inside of this world. So it's uh it's getting up there. It's getting up there. Red Fire Panda, thank you so much for the four months, my dude. Hard to catch streams around classes these days. Glad to finally be here again. Hey, welcome on in. Good to have you. Here is a glimpse of the tree, my friends. This is this is where the tree is currently at in its in its current rendition. And uh it's 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 big. <laughs> it's big. I designed all of the base branches and then I built out uh, how I want to do the leaves on the base and I'm kind of stacking up from there and then I figured that's going to be a platform that I can build the upper sections much more easily. The tree's looking so great. I love it. The views from down on the ground are just, oh, they're so, so special. Uh, what I wanted to do though was take some of these crimson stems. We'll just do this. Build out, um... Uh, yeah, so we're just going to build out a bunch of planks here. We can turn that into a load of chests, and that'll be four double chests. And my end goal plan is to turn this place down in here into all of my foliage storage and just kind of create some market stalls. So for now, I know it's not going to look beautiful. Eventually, I want to turn them into barrels and then use shulker box storage inside of that just to make it a little bit smaller. But I'm almost out of shulker boxes. Uh, so to save that, we're just gonna, we're gonna drop them all in here and we'll just keep stacking up some chests and then I can move these chests later as we need to. But that's, that's the plan. That's, that's the general plan I got right now for how I want to do all of the leaf and foliage storage things. Cause I don't think I'm ever going to have like entire double chests worth of flowers 
Leaves, yes, but I can just do shulker boxes of leaves and saplings and stuff and make little market stalls in here. That's kind of that's kind of the vibe that I want to go for. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see where that lands. But yeah, I've got four shulker boxes of flowering leaves off of 12 shulker boxes of azalea leaves. And uh, it just keeps it keeps stacking out of shulkers. I know late live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoe, thank you so very much for the dono. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I do appreciate it. Yeah, uh, here's here's another shot before we go into the endless state of gathering azalea leaves. There you go. I'm trying to thin out the inner canopy because basically the inner canopy is turning into where the old branches were on the first rendition. So I'm trying to create space around that so that there's not too... I'm not full stacking leaves everywhere because even like this is a little too thick on the leaves, I think. Like it's not needed and it's wasting a lot of leaves. <laughs> so it's huge yeah it's 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 big it's it's very big it looks really good though i'm Pleased really happy with how it's turning out i i'm scared for how many leaves it's going to turn into for the whole total canopy uh the 12 sugar boxes that we're going to be working towards filling i don't it took me three hours to fill them last time and i don't know how quickly it'll go if we're doing that here on stream but i'd love to refill all these again completely we'll see we'll, we're gonna see how that goes uh, before we get into filling though, let's do this and then I want to do this and this this way I my thought here is one we'll get all the bone meal but two I want to come through and place a bunch more of these flowering ones down to basically create like a whole platform that's one block up off the base so that I can be a little bit closer to the top of the leaves and I don't have to climb up into the trees as much. That's my thought. That's that's my thought. For a fantasy tree, it's very realistic. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it look like obviously the ignoring the fact that it's shattered in half, just like totally ignoring that fact. Outside of that, trying to make a giant realistic looking tree. Gung, hope the pups are doing well. Pony. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate that. That's very very kind of you. Pups are they're doing good. I will say though, uh we finally decided to do the pet owner thing of cleaning all the toys out from underneath the couch. Uh, Nova, our younger pup, she likes to hide all of the toys under the couch because only she can get under there and Coda can't reach them. But then, of course, like the natural dog thing, she forgets that they're under there. Anyway, so we decided to clean all those out from underneath the couch recently and Coda got, into, got one of the bones and it's just been going to town chewing on it and it is Pleased to meet you. not landed well on the poor guy's tummy so he he's been in a little bit of a rough one but <laughs> we kind of we finally were just like we're just taking it away like we we <laughs> no more bones for him <laughs> no no bone it has it's like one of those bones with like fill like the filling on the inside of it and we're like nope <laughs> sorry buddy you're you're cut off no more for you but yeah they're they're good miss galley thank you so much for the 17 months knitting while watching you best vibe ever hey glad to hear it good vibes only good vibes only do you have any cute pics of the pups i share some occasionally on like twitter or things like that but i don't have any on my computer right now to pull up and probably wouldn't be the best off my phone but they they uh actually if you go to my instagram page there's a at link into them for there for two hairy floofs that uh my wife was making an instagram account for the pups for a while i don't think we posted it on it for a, for a, a hot minute or two but if you want to see a bunch of photos of the pups you can you can go over there can you show us your doggos they're napping downstairs it is a cold and wet rainy fall day here and the pups are living for it they're as curled up and husky balling as much as you can crocheting working on a blanket oh my daughter's in gymnastics wow busy household watching the minecraft stream making a blanket and driving the kids to gymnastics practice practice you're doing the most you're doing the most <laughs> oh my god i can see and mod the stream now liz what happened also yes i'm aware that this is a lot and i mean a lot of uh flowering azalea bushes i know Trust me, I'm well aware of this. this. is not the first time I've had to do this. Why'd you do big projects? Has motivated motivated me to do big project. 
And now I resent the amount of time I've invested into said projects, so thank you. <laughs> Alright, that's as far as we're gonna make it on these for now. We can go back. I'm actually out of flowering ones. I have to go get regular azaleas. Which I might do. Let's just finish it off. I, I want that whole platform raised up one. Not sure what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm on it. Hey, you know what? Watch the stream while on the supporter server. Uh, hey. Enjoy. You can just wander around in a giant circle and look at things. Like you, you can do that as for an unended amount of time on the supporter server. <laughs> Painting for school because my art board is due in November. Ooh. I always enjoyed art projects in school when they like gave you enough time to actually work on it and do it. That was I always had so much fun with that. But then there's so many times where it's just they're like Okay, um, so you got like a week to make this whole artwork thing, and here's the criteria you have to fit. And I was just like, but I, I want to do it my way. Isn't that the point of art? <laughs> I didn't watch it. I, I enjoy the F1 documentary, and I enjoy keeping up on the news, but I don't, like, I, I'm not good about watching live sports in general, so no, I haven't kept up on any of it. Pretty much what I'm doing around the shops. Hey, I feel it what I did half the time on empires just running around in circles <laughs> no I mean I was always very very efficient working on videos all the time very efficient speaking of being very efficient doing things I've play been playing starfield so much it's been really fun I, d I don't get why it's I mean I understand why people are giving it bad ratings but I've been really enjoying the game. There's a few quirky things that I'm like, eh, I'm kind of done real. with this. Desperate for more fishing with whip. It's better than comedians in cars <laughs> getting talking. Ooh, I don't know. That's a high bar. That's a high bar to me. Chris, thank you so much for the dono. I'll, I I want to keep the comment of the day thing going. And that's kind of, I, so I would love to do more fishing with whip if we can. But I'm making sure I do the comment of the day thing for sure as we keep moving. Like, like the stream, guys and gals and everybody's and they thems everybody please be sure to leave a like on the stream very much do appreciate it bad i'm progressing on a massive end project on the server that i'm playing on i don't think it's ever bad to be procrastinating on a minecraft project when it's something that you should be doing for fun i mean for me procrastinating on a project that's one thing because i do this for a living so i need to finish projects you know keep paychecks coming in but you all are playing for fun if you don't want to do the project why are you doing the project but I will say there is a merit in being like, I just want this done because I want to be able to look at this really, really cool thing I've been working on. We're working on the Giga Tree today. We got, I've got a bunch of leaves I need to gather where this is very much a grind and chat stream today. I don't know how long it's going to be. I pretty much plan to stream until I'm like, yep, I'm done. I don't want to stare at an Azalea tree any longer. Do you have any tips for surviving in the nether? Having gold armor can be really useful uh, so that the piglins don't attack you. Carrying boats on you is actually a huge, huge vouch for it because if you get in a warp force and endermen start chasing you, having a having boats is actually a great way to stop endermen from getting to you because you just slap a boat on the ground, jump over the boat and keep running and the endermen will get caught in the boat. Um, so that's a really, really good way you can keep yourself safe in the, that dimension. Outside of that, having a bow that's and a shield so that you can deal with gas is really good. Gas are kind of a pain in the butt if you're on a server, just because lag and things with the gas fireballs can be a bit of a pain. So I prefer just to have a bow to take them out instead of trying to knock the, the fireballs back to them. But you can knock the fireball back with an arrow. So that's, that's a good way to keep yourself alive if you need to. So the plan I go by, I know it's not perfect, but it makes it close enough to where you can kind of work on a canopy. I know I kind of cannibalize some of the leaves doing this, but I think it's fine. Is I try and go every three, and then we grow all those up. And once we've done every three, then we we chop them all down, we shear them, whatever. We use the silk touch hose coming in MVP here. And then after that, we come back through and chop all the logs down, get those down so they're just one tall. And basically, I'm creating an entire sheet of rooted dirt doing this. Each row that we have is 64 blocks long. Um, and my end goal is basically it be completely oak logs across the top. And then it'll be completed with underneath the oak logs will be uh, just full on rooted dirt across the entire thing. Because we, blah, 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 we grew a tree on every single one of them. So 
that's the that's the general idea and then i extended a few blocks out the edge so that i can have a little bit more wiggle room so that the saplings aren't or the leaves aren't dropping below favorite f1 driver i don't really know i always like the underdog guys i i think they're really i like i like kind of watching who's competing for not first place i mean i i guess i should say right now who's not competing for second place I always think it's fun. I think it's cool seeing the rookies really going at it. Okay, there's everything planted down. And now from here, uh, we just need to do a little like this. And then I typically start the way I've been finding a lot of success in it as I just start from two down from wherever. And then I just go across, chop all these down. The goal is to keep like the route that I'm doing in under five minutes. So I just go all the way down under five minutes and then I can come back and pick everything up. That way we're not getting any despawns, but we're still chopping as much as we can. Cause then when we're on the pickup phase, we're also breaking the next lower layer of leaves. Or I do that. That's definitely a possibility. Cha -ching! <laughs> that's, that's a possibility too. There we go. We're doing it. Julius, thank you so much for the donut, my dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could you plant TNT on top of them to rake them down? No, the point is to get the leaves. You can only get the leaves as leaf blocks if you're using Silk Touch. There are a few auto farms that you can use um, that I'm aware of where you basically just have all the leaves and things being funneled and like your character moving around and then you're just like there with a hoe with silk touch breaking them but i don't know i don't i don't like doing a forced afk auto farms for me or not how i enjoy playing the game so i typically try to not do them if that makes sense also i know it's a late stream today so if it's late for y'all compared to the normal stream times please 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 Go get some rest if you need to. Happy to have you hanging and happy to have everybody chilling in here, but no no pressure at all to stick around. The VOD is always available. And to the VOD watchers, we say hello. Hello, VOD watchers. Also, to the live people and the VOD watchers, uh, please leave a like. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. it helps me out a ton. So everybody who has not already, we almost got a thousand people in here and we just hit 500 likes. So everybody who can, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. Helps me out a bunch. Especially when YouTube's in such a weird point right now. I, I really do appreciate it. So thank you, everybody. All right. Now we can just keep chopping down here and pick up all the leaves as we're going. And we basically just kind of gather everything as we move. Ooh, inventory's full. The first drop off. Oh, it's because my inventory's full of bone meal. I really don't need that. Uh, we can put that all back in here. Just woke up. Good morning. Thankfully, we get a lot more azalea leaves than we get flowering azalea leaves, so I don't even really have to worry about that. I, I feel like there I used to remember getting so many more flowering leaves when I like didn't want when I don't want them, and then <laughs> so I don't know. It's I feel like it's better. Will it be a part two of the entry? I have a plan in mind for part two of the entry. Um, that for me on the entry, I want to, I don't think I'm going to expand the tree itself, but it is a little just there. It's just floating in the middle of nothingness. So I really want to do some stuff there. Honestly, I'm kind of holding out, hoping that Mojang is updating the end. Like I'm, I'm hoping I don't, I don't have any information, but boy, oh boy. And I, am I hoping that 1.21 is an end update because if it was i've got so many ideas for builds in the end and then i don't i don't want to do them if then minecraft is going to be like here's all the stuff we're doing in the end and then gotta gotta time the episodes with the hype so i'm hoping that it's going to do that I, I don't think i'll wait until 1.22 oh hi creeper if, if it's not this so i i think the end update stuff that i have planned will happen in like the next year Within the next year, I should say. 
nailed it. What member tier do you need for the texture pack? Tier one and tier one gets you the texture pack and world downloads, I believe. You can click into the tiers and you'll see what rewards you get on them. There should be a little more information section. Supporter basically is just green name and chat and gets you access to the live stream emotes, but doesn't give any benefits outside of live stream chat and all that stuff. I'm cross stitching and watching the stream. Very happy about it. Hey, Indigo Blue, thank you so much for the dono and welcome on in. Good to have you. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. There's a chicken. Can you show your accessibility settings? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you looking for anything specific? That's what I have there, if you want to take a look. I guess you can pause the stream and look at it, so that should be enough time for you. I think the only thing I've really modified is the amount that your screen tilts when you take damage. Um, and then I think I do have the directional tilt enable. I don't know. You'll, you can see the settings in there, but I modified the enchanting glint texture a lot. Like that's, that's a big part that I modified. I need a, I need a town name for a build, but what do you build in the town? The way I try and name things outside of, uh, is always based off of a resource in the region or something important about how like the, the town is there like if you look at how town names originally came to be before they started naming towns after people and things like that or whatever like a lot of like old school towns were always named like kind of a phrase of like the town on the hill and then it could become something like town hill and then you could shorten that even further and just if you look up like naming schemes to meet you. you can you can find a lot of fun ways to create some really really simple town names also, we get so many oak logs out of doing this. It's kind of nuts. It's really, really nice. I'm going to take my sweatshirt off one sec. It's cold and rainy, and then I was like, I need a sweatshirt. And of course, I put the sweatshirt on, and now I'm like, no, I'm too hot. It's one of those days. It's one of those. I forgot to be tea, too. Oh, dang it. It's okay. We vibe. We go on. I wonder if the tea is cold enough to drink finally i don't know end update where you need to find the thing to open the portal in the ancient city to go to the new dimension i hope they don't add a new dimension i'll be honest i think minecraft needs to really fix the end dimension and expand on that to make it something players actually want to go to instead of making a new dimension I think making a new dimension with would be a very big miss for the game. But I don't know. That I I wouldn't be surprised if a fourth dimension gets added Please eventually, but I really hope it's not for Like I think another 4 or 5 updates from now is when they could potentially add a new dimension. Before that, I think it's too soon. There's so many things that should be taken priority to adding a new dimension. Also, I can't wait for so many players to complain <laughs> when a new dimension comes out. If it does happen in the plasma screen TV in the stronghold or the ancient city, if it if it does happen in there, I can't wait for so many players to complain about how much how they can't access the new dimension because they die or that they can't build the portal at their base because it's there's no ancient city nearby and. I think that's going to be so funny because you know it's coming. You know for a fact with how the Minecraft community is acting and like talking about things that are added in, even down to the mob vote there. I saw a thread earlier on Twitter. I can't remember who was saying it. It might have been Xylophan, one of the devs who's known for memeing. Uh, but he was talking about, he's like, or whoever it was, was talking about, wouldn't it be funny if you started a series, like, referring to old Minecraft mobs as people talk about them being added in a potential mob vote now? <laughs> and it, the example brought up was the pig. They were like, well, the pig's useless. Imagine, hoglins are so much better, and they give leather when you kill them too, instead of just pork chops. Pigs are useless. Why should, why would pigs be added to the game? That's awful. 
and they're just they're a worse mount than a horse there's no reason to have them and if anything we use elytra so pigs just shouldn't be in the game and I was like that is such a true statement about how everybody reacts to anything be at to being added to minecraft nowadays also profi sloth thank you so much for the 20 months and the yay leaves i i need that i need that type of energy and bobo thanks so much for becoming a member too my dude i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you yeah yeah if we i think uh, i think uh pigs should just be removed from the game because uh they don't give enough interesting features Pleased the to slowest meet you. mount by far nobody's gonna use it why would why would they add a s slow mount that is only a food source come on now they should at least go around and dig up truffles out of the ground otherwise they're worthless thank you but then that's the same as sniffers Speaking so you know sniffers names, dig things up the out of the ground name of my city was quinnipiac in 1638 then it was changed to new haven hmm. yeah <laughs> oh boy history <laughs> That's funny though. Alex, thank you so much for the donor. I do appreciate it. And Angel, thank you so much for the 19 months at tier two. Woo! Late stream. I'm in my blanket burrito enjoying the vibes. Hey, welcome on in. Good to have you. How dare they not do things I want in the ways I want them? Exactly, exactly, exactly. I saw a big wall of text in there a second ago. Let me scroll up. We need another good mob vote where the community actually likes one or more of the mobs and doesn't get influenced by other people. Eh, that's impossible. I'll be honest. If you are annoyed that content creators are coming in and influence the mob vote i i don't think that's a thing where you should be putting your energy towards hating that because there's it's proven year after year that there's so many ways for there's a lot of money to be made for content creators making video content about the mob vote and and it's just it's just a part of it it's just it's just a thing behind it that and content creators were voting like everybody else and everybody else is on the forums talking about how they want x being added instead of y and then of, of course us being a creator our voice is just a little bit larger because we have a platform to yell from <laughs> so it's just a part of it unfortunately i don't like it as much as you all on some of them but then i mean i i think it's at this point is i can't lose um every uh, hopefully i'm not jinxing anything let's just knock on some wood down there and place it back um <laughs> but i haven't lost a mob vote yet every single mob that i have wanted to vote for has won the mob vote pretty proud of that one except for phantoms looking back i kind of wish phantoms lost like in the moment thought phantoms were so cool and then they actually developed phantoms at least they don't do that the first mob vote they ever did was so bad because they're all hidden they didn't tell us what the thing did they just told us that their idea behind a name Thank you, and then like a, a description about it and then they're going to develop it from there so everybody's like oh cool a flying manta ray looking thing that'll be in the overworld fun yeah we'd love more flying mobs and then it, it was called like the terror of the night and nobody really realized that that meant it will be unending pain and Minecraft players will hate it for years and years to come. If you won every mob vote, you actually didn't win because fandoms. Yeah, true, true, true. I did vote for Phantom, so I will say that. I wanted the, I, I was between the, the Giga Blaze, whatever it was called, and a Phantom, and uh, I went for Phantom because I, I figured I didn't want another Blaze mob in the game. Also, I know the durability is pretty low in the hoe. So many leaves. Yeah, you're telling me. This is my second time doing this. This week. You know how last episode ended on uh, day 5,000? We're on day 5,097 already. All I've been doing is breaking and placing leaves and branches. I will say, thankfully, outside of the stream that we did Friday where we gather the shulker box of acacia logs, I haven't had to gather, gather any more logs yet, but that, that is coming. I just haven't been expanding the canopy, like, branches. I've been working on the, uh, the, the leaf placing in around the branches I had already. Because I, I didn't want to be, like, I didn't want to build it all out and then have to come back and... <laughs> Do it again. The Giga Tree. The Giga Tree is expanding. Town name Table. It's true. 
true. You could do tabletop or flip it and do top table. There you go. Then that doesn't sound like top table, but you could be like top table. And then you could have their, you just need to pick an industry that would line up with tables and making tables. We really, really do have the best build ideas. So if anybody ever needs build ideas, you, you know the stream to come to to get your build ideas and name for your build sorted. We really, really strive to provide a top level of skill here. Carpentry town. There you go. Carpentry and forestry town. If you're looking for Minecraft pictures and inspiration, you can check out my Pinterest. I think it's just with MC. There might be a link down in the description. I can't remember. There's definitely a link in the Discord somewhere. I think it's about time to make a few boards public too. So I'm, I've been meaning to do that soon. I, I have the Empire's Season 2 board. I, I'm thinking about making it public. Just so y'all can see the inspiration collage that I'm doing. I have the... When I eventually release the Hardcore Season 3 board, y'all are going to be like, where have these pins been? <laughs> I like to release them after the series is done. And then uh, now that the series has been going on for a long time, it's uh, there's a lot of pins. There's a few hundred of them. <laughs> All good stuff though. Tables Town's arch nemesis is Chair Down. Oh, come on now. Chair Town and Table Town know they need to work together. Uh, my naming strategy for things is random words together. Oh, hi, buddies. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm trying to go with names is thinking about like what word, what Minecraft thing that I'm representing and building on top of. Because I like to do a lot of my builds themed around a Minecraft concept, concept, mostly just for the YouTube sake of it makes it easier to get a video title and all that type of stuff. But that being said, that kind of gives a fun way of just whatever item I'm working on and using is how I'm going to try and build the name for the place. I mean, papyrus and all that came from sugarcane, pa like p paper, blah, blah, blah. I know it's not fully Minecrafty, but I think it fits. And making a lush desert region, I think, adds on top of that, so... How about Blockville? There you go. There you go. We'll get in there, chat. We're we'll getting there. Thank you kindly. Stupid question. Since tables always overlap the seat, but the backrest is always taller than the table. Who's taller, the table or the chair? That's a. I was gonna say there's no stupid questions, but uh, I stand corrected. Yeah, thank. Yeah, thank you for the donut. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'd say with the chair would be taller if you're going by just standard things, because then if. You're, if oh, being tall is factored into like your overall width and everything then i think that's a little different because you could be really really tall and super skinny and then that'd still make you taller than somebody else by present standards so i would say the chair is taller but if you have a low back chair then your table could be taller and if the table has a centerpiece does that add to the height of the table because sometimes those are taller than the back of the chair I named the town based off of the whole story it has in the world. I'm a huge lore builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to I like to add some like simplified lore into the world so there's a slight story to follow. By the way, we were talking on stream Friday about a lore channel of where people can submit stories and I'll copy them into books and things and throw them around in this world. That is live in the Discord for members. So if you're a tier one member and up and get, join the Discord, get your account linked and all that stuff and 
if you want to write a story for this world we've we've got a place to do it and uh we kind of got a, a si pretty simplified system set up where once they get approved and everything we'll add some tags to them and then i'll get them added into the world but yeah so that's there if anybody anybody wants it all right we've almost got the first round done we're getting there slowly slowly but surely I resisted saying, but you stopped calling me Shirley right there. So close. So close. Aha! Nice. Cuddling with the kids, watching Flip Life couldn't be better. Hey, there you go. Sounds like a good way to finish Monday. Or being one of those weird people that's already on Tuesday. Ugh. Not having the azalea bushes placed down. Pain. Here, another pain. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Progress. Before that decays, gotta pick it up. And then another pork chop. What's the established lore of this world so far? That's kind of the open-ended point of I don't I don't like to write anything down. I like the builds that I'm creating to tell the story. It may be I'll I'll name builds, which can add a little bit to the story just off of the name alone and give like a, I kind of give like a general description of like kind of what the region is but then a lot of what I like the story to be behind this world is just what you make up when you see the builds and things that I've created because I think that's a really cool part about it as in art there's there's no one story behind a painting there's always like it's how people infer and when they're looking at a painting or they're looking at a piece of artwork they can kind of they build a story for themselves about what they think it means. And that's that's kind of the way that I take the story inside this world. So I'm not really writing anything down and I'm not really kind of saying too much about it, but it's more for what people are adding. Like, I mean, we have the giant obelisk on the far side of that mountain. That's a pretty obvious, like old world civilization. Like the basis, I guess, is it's a fantasy world. So magic and things exist. Uh, fantasy races exist as well. We have the Dwarven Village, so we have that criteria and that box checked in there. There are some places that have more technology than not. We have established that airships exist inside the world, but then outside of that, a lot of the travel is done on horseback, pulling carts, mules, the type of thing. So we don't, and we have working minecart systems. So like all your base, like Minecraft tech exists and works. And it just base, it depends on the, if the civilization is smart enough to be able to leverage and use those things to make different aspects i guess are you getting leaves working on the big tree we're on big tree round two i'm already 100 days into it meaning the big tree has now taken over 400 days in game to build big tree and i uh I'm in pain. No, <laughs> I've been enjoying it. I've, I've been enjoying the, the process of just picking up a really slow grind project and just saying, I'm just going to work on it and it'll be published when it's published. Like the video will be ready when the tree is ready to be shown. And that for me is uh, I'm, I'm really happy with that. How do you not give up? Well, one, it being my job helps a lot with, uh, you know, that forced motivation of I have to finish the projects. Uh, two, I pick projects that really inspire me. <clears throat> if, all right. <clears throat> First clear, we've got uh, a little over two shoulder boxes. That's pretty good. We're getting there.
But yeah, I'd say picking things to inspire you is good. And if you're not like a creator, it's totally fine to take a break. I mean, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago now, I took an entire week off and this is my job and I took a staycation so I could sit home and not think about work just because I was a little burnt out. I was, I needed a break. Uh, we're definitely going to need more bone meal than this. I think I need three stacks roughly to make it all the way across. Not bone blocks, just bone meal. So yeah, I guess, I mean, that's the biggest thing is take breaks and don't kill yourself over making something in Minecraft. Game's meant to be fun. If you don't want to work on that thing, it's fine. I mean, there is, I always say there is a certain amount of grind that you have to put in to get a like a really cool final finished product. And that's okay. That's fine. I mean, that's just part of it. We try and make perfect lines. It's going to be uh, a little hard to manage. So I'm just going to go in here for the sake of efficiency. We lobe. Whip. I don't know what lobe means, but okay, thanks. Yeah. Trying to read chat and bone meal. Don't do it. You'll bonk your head. Can you do a world tour real quick? I'm going to work on one soon after I finish this next video um, and throw it up on the second channel. So keep an eye out for that. But I can't do a world tour right now. I've survived 5,000 days inside this world. A real quick world tour is almost 40, 45 minutes. So <laughs> I'll have one out on the second channel. Honestly, I'm, we might do it like live on stream and then I'll post it over there. I think that could be kind of fun. But yeah, so sorry, not going to do a, a world tour right now. But I will have one up soon. Just weird of saying love. <laughs> that chicken's vibing. Yeah, he's chilling. He's having a clucking good time. This is why. This is why we built up the base out of the azalea bushes. We could get these. Got in there. I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, last time I did this, I had to clear the hoe. Like, I broke both the hoes, like, all the way down, went to repair them, and I came back, and I had to do one, I think it was that extra half durability. Like, that half broken hoe was, I think, what we added on top for, like, the full. No, thank you. To, like, clear all 12 of them. Love the weird timing, unprecedented late streams. Hey, we've done a few late ones like this before. This isn't a first. Completely. Does it happen often? No. This is a this is a for me stream of I was going crazy and I needed people to talk to while I'm gathering all these blocks. And uh I figured people would show up. <laughs> And now it's on a much, much better day. Um, we got some people to talk to. I'm grinding away on some stuff. Oh, it's so much better. I ran out of YouTube videos to watch today, and then I turned on some Twitch streams, and I was like, nah, this is not keeping me entertained today. Um, I think I just need to find somebody to talk to while I break blocks and place blocks. I placed leaves for five hours yesterday. And then I placed leaves for another three hours this morning. So it's 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 been a grind. <laughs> Don't forget to erect a me memorial for all the axolotls who died, so you can collect a few blue ones. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about the axolotl. I yeah, I mean they did die. I didn't kill them, but they did die. Yeah. It's pretty sad that they died. Yeah, I can't believe that happened. Somebody left a comment, and I wish I had thought of this before of building out the contraption with the TNT on top of it and then having a pressure plate 
instead of where I had the lever and then getting a zombie to like spawn at night and come over and walk over it so I could be completely hands off. And I was like, I should have done that. That's a, such a good idea. <laughs> like, uh, sometimes people in the comments are so dang smart. I will always say the internet is equally the smartest and dumbest place ever at the same time too. It's really impressive. That was me, was it? <laughs> it's a good comment. It was, it was good. Definitely got me to laugh. <laughs> what are we grinding? Azalea leaves. The thumbnail did not lie. I do want to be drowning in just a mass of azalea leaves. Uh, if we can have that, that means uh, success. Not flowering azalea leaves, just plain old azalea leaves. Also, Marcos this morning pointed out when I was talking to him, just giving him a little update where I was at with the project for like, hey, you probably have this much time before I'm going to fill your entire schedule with you staring at clips of me mining and placing down leaf blocks. Uh, and he was like, don't forget to gather all the string to put it on top so the snow doesn't get there. And I was like, Marcos, don't tell me about that. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I will not be doing that in this episode. That's a future me problem. <laughs> Like, not today. <laughs> well, I wish I could say today. Not this week. Joshua Morgan, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate that. I'll let it read out and then I'll get back to you. If it wants to read out. Maybe it wants to read out. I don't know. We got another minute. It hasn't popped up yet, but it's getting there. Inventory's full. <laughs> Keep it real. I have been watching since the Fantasy Wizard Castle built in building with Flip. I have finally been able to catch a stream. Thank you for all the years. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around this long. That that was one of my favorite castles I've ever built. That was also one of the first videos I ever posted was the planning of that castle uh that went above 10,000 views in 24 hours that was that was one of the first videos of mine that ever hit that mark and i was i remember just being like oh this is so cool <laughs> that was definitely one of my favorite builds that was that was a good one thank you so much for all the support this long my dude i, I really appreciate that thank you for sticking around So many leaves, so many leaves. Nope, that's not a jump, that's just a walk. Nope, still no. I think technically you can make that jump, but I... Uh, my, my park, my park, the, the, the park, my the skills uh, only extend to jumping between leaf blocks on top of the tree. Cheeky Monday stream. It is a cheeky Monday stream. I have blocks to break. This is content. This is this right here is the content you all want. I know. I know. you're welcome. You're welcome for providing this level of content. Where's Coda? So cute. He's downstairs, sleeping on the couch, being a little butthead. He has fully claimed the couch as his throne. nothing we can say or do it's really starting to go to his head too he's turning into a little bossy a little butthead yeah i'm talking about my dog by the way yeah i know i know it sounds pretty bad but he's just so cute he's a little butthead Totally fine. He's only slightly spoiled. <laughs> only slightly, completely, utterly spoiled. Yeah, I think I've already gotten a shulker and a half of oak logs out of this, which is nice. 
So I know as much as it's kind of annoying to have to break down all the logs, I'm like, this is going to be pretty nice to have all these. So if I have any builds soon that require a lot of oak, we are sorted. And if only I was smart enough to pick builds that I want to do based off the materials I have in storage. But no, 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 no. That's no, 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 that's stupid. Why would I ever do that? Can't refuse to eat until we hand fetter. Oof. Sometimes that means they're not feeling well though, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. Sometimes they're just like, I don't feel good. And then you're like, but you take food. And they're like, okay, fine, I eat for you. Make sure you keep an eye on them. How do you keep up your motivation for doing such big builds? I try and take it in stages and I try to not be upset with myself for not getting everything and anything done in a single day. Like yesterday, I very much hit a point where I was like, yep, no more. No more is happening today. I'm done. I'm tapping out. That's This is where today's project will end. And then I just logged off and went and played like Starfield or something for the rest of the day and did some stuff around the house. And it was a great idea. Oh my god, we finally finished watching The Witcher. Uh, season 3 last night. So sad. So it season one started on such a high season three just such a low such such a low we'd been really putting off on what like putting off watching it because like we knew people weren't enjoying it a whole lot so we we're like all right and then we finally have just been like looking for a show to watch and so we got around to finishing it and we're like ah not uh, i see why henry cavill is leaving <laughs> Starfield's good. I really enjoy it. There's some systems that I feel like from Bethesda making Skyrim that there's if I've seen a lot of people just like talking about how you should compare Starfield to Cyberpunk 2077 or things like that. And I don't think that's a full accurate comparison. Um, or people like compare it to No Man's Sky and I'm like no just because they're both in space and you can go between planets I don't think they're the same game uh, like enough to compare it but when you compare uh, Starfield to Skyrim I think that's like the most accurate comparison and I'll say if you enjoyed Skyrim like Elder Scrolls Skyrim you will enjoy uh, Starfield probably but there's a few things without any spoilers um, that they did really, really well in Skyrim that they just didn't bother with in Starfield. I don't want to spoil it because it kind of gives a lot of the game away. Um, I know it's a fairly new title still. And I, I enjoyed the, I've enjoyed the story in Starfield enough that I'm like, I, I, and I, I've been going in it blind. I haven't looked up anything. Uh, and it's, it's been fun. It's been cool to see those, uh, kind of seeing the story come to life without really like seeing too much on the internet about it i think it's definitely a game that right now the internet like you can see the review and the rating on it completely tanking and i think it's mostly people who are upset that it's xbox exclusive and then also i i don't know i think the gaming community nowadays is so attached to titles are either the best thing they've ever played it's a life-changing experience and it's turned into their new religion or cult or whatever that they're joining and it's the only video game they're ever going to play ever again in their entire life. And they love it so much. Beast or it's either that or it's absolutely trash and you shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. And the developers that made this game should be ashamed that they even published it. Like that is like the, that's the level of like reviews you see now. There's no like, oh, it's an eight out of 10. It's a pretty good game. It's always, it's a hundred or it's a zero. And I, the volatility of that, I think, is so dumb. But yeah, I think Starfield's a good game. If you, if you enjoyed Skyrim and you enjoy space-themed games, I think it's fine. Pleased to meet you. People complain about the load screens. I don't know. I mean, I have a good computer, so the load screens for me are like two seconds. Not a big issue. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'd say. I've, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna keep playing it. I have like 
I think I just hit 48 hours played in it. So like I played a lot. That was pretty good. Uh, and thanks so much for the three months at super fan. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you haven't already join the discord and get that linked up, got all those perks rolling. Uh, Bellatrix, thank you so much for the gift membership. And Tezweb, thank you so much for the 19 months at tier two. Late stream, let's go. Yeah. Late stream vibes. You going blind equal doesn't look anything up. Me going blind looks up everything but doesn't watch someone play it. <laughs> I am so tempted to go in and like start finding like where. And the only thing that doesn't make much sense to me right now is how and I, i'm not looking for answers from chat just to clarify before i say it but like how to build a good ship or make a good ship i figured out outposts and i figured out you can print money and you can print experience like you can just auto level yourself up with outposts nice to meet you. it's pretty dumb but it's also i get it they outposts are the most overpowered thing in starfield <laughs> they're so dumb they're so overpowered it's ridiculous uh, <laughs> Took me 20 minutes to set up an outpost after I found a really good spot with four resources on it. I think I got one with aluminum, iron, uh, helium three, and I can't remember where the fourth, fourth resource is. But anyways, like enough that I can do it. And so I can use it to like for inner, inner space travel, like inner galaxy travel to like move resources between outposts. But then also that outpost alone has the ability to like fully craft and fund things. And so I just hooked up a massive storage thing and I come back every once in a while and they're just all full because the way the game like calculates real. time based off the planet you're on versus like a real world time thing. So there's like some planets where the moon doesn't move much. So if you were to say like sit there for a day in game, that's actually like 100 hours of universal time and your outpost calculates based off universal time. So it just you would you just you can get so many resources. But anyways. Um, I found out that I can just like mass produce one of the base crafted items each time you craft it, it gives you one experience and then each time and then you can just take them all to a shop and sell them <laughs> like infinite credits and I could hit max level in like a few hours if I wanted to but I did I definitely gave myself a few levels just to get a few skills I wanted to try out and then I, and then I realized that the enemies were also leveling up a bunch and I was like ooh maybe not because I'm, I'm playing on very hard I, I really enjoy the challenge of those games so I've been playing on very hard difficulty and uh I get one shot a lot I I will admit to a little bit of save scumming it's happening but uh when you get one shot when you turn around a corner I feel like it's warranted to do a little save scumming every once in a while <laughs> I also feel like that's Bethesda games in a nutshell as you have to do some amount of it. Uh, Arcane Gaming, thank you so much for the dono. Uh, appreciate late stream from Australia. Hey, good morning. Right? It's early morning over there, right? Isn't it like what? 9 a.m., 10 a.m. probably? Something like that. Hope you're enjoying your nice warm spring weather coming around. So sad it's fall raining here for the next seven days i got out of bed this morning not because i was like oh i have to get up but because i finally heard the rain like slowing down i was like i have to get up now and walk the dogs <laughs> it's not raining that bad right now i have to get out and walk the dogs otherwise it's gonna be raining like crazy again and i got back and lo and behold like 20 minutes later just rain <laughs> It's like, whew, made it. During the wee hours of the night? I mean, to be fair, like for me, it's not that late. It is, a, it's 3.15 PM right now, roughly. So like, it's really not that late for me, but when I normally end my stream two hours earlier from now, I I know I'm, I'm hitting a different audience when we do these. So if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like on the stream. Very much do appreciate it. Make sure I got all these leaves. We do now. Aha. Yeah, falling asleep last night with the rain going was great. Taking the dogs out to pee 15 minutes before, awful. But 
they do look really, really cute in their rain jackets. So there's that. Nova's rain jackets have a little rain jacket has a little yellow duckies on it, and Coda's rain jacket has sharks. So they look really freaking cute. The only part I don't like, I mean, outside, like, if you can stay inside, the part of the rain that I don't like here in Seattle area is that it just brings on this, like, damp cold. Like, you, it's just, like, a chilled to the bone feeling, which is not so fun. Live on a Monday? I know, yeah. had energy on a Monday to stream what we'll see I, I don't have a video coming out this week because my next video is the building this big old tree so I was like well, well until the tree is ready to release which I'm hoping I'm really hoping will be next Thursday um we'll see but that's kind of my rough plan is I, I'm hoping to have it finished up if I can I'm all, but I'm not gonna kill myself over getting it finished like I'm not gonna be pulling 10 hour days to finish a tree so there might not be a video for a week or two but that's that's okay you're in bigfoot territory true true have y'all seen those new twitter trends going around right now where people are like talking about scary monsters outside their window and everything and then they're photoshopping like weird dinosaurs into it <laughs> There's one or two out there that got me. I was like, is that an owl? That's a really big looking owl. Wow. <laughs> I thought I read that. I was like reading into it more and they had some follow up posts with that. And I was like, okay, the camera angle on the animals is the exact same in every single one of these. And, and then I was like, I was like, all right, no, this is, these are fake. <laughs> like, you can't get me. <laughs> I'm doing my research. It's so hilarious. Yeah, they're good. They're really funny. I was thinking about making one of photoshopping a dinosaur somehow into like a Minecraft, like outside in the mine, outside of a window in Minecraft or something. <laughs> there we go. Round two. Done. Almost. Usually work during streams, so I appreciate the late streams. Hey, got it. I don't think this would be like a weekly thing because uh, I definitely like find myself in the afternoons being like, I have no energy, but maybe honestly streaming would be like, hey, you gotta wake up because you gotta be doing things. So I usually try and just like do like admin work in the afternoon. 3 to 5 p.m. Oh, I'm hopeless. Energy levels are zero. We should sleep. I don't want to deal with creepers. <laughs> just post a pic of Shulker Monster from your starter base. Yeah, just... Exactly. Exactly. Late streams are fun, so chill. Yeah. The goal. All right, there we go. There's the next round done. How many are we at now? One, two, three, four. We're into the fifth. We're getting a lot more flowering than we are regulars, so we're gonna unlucky tree spawns. Uh, let's go take all these back. And then 
just go repair the hose. We can do that right now, that's okay. Where's my axe? Am I blind? Where's my axe? Where'd my axe go? Hello? Am I just missing it? Ah, no, I threw it on the ground. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Like something's missing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... We're gonna drop the bed down here. And fly away. Do you have an opinion about using a laser to help collect leaves and wood? I mean, yeah, I just don't have any lays nearby. I guess I could bring them over and help long term, but it... it's fine. That almost despawned. I think we had a few minutes. We just finished chopping that tree. I think I fat fingered and hit Q. Okay, uh, we can just drop all the oak logs off in there. Perfect. And then for the sake of more experience gains, we're gonna go to the end. Wee I really appreciate the late stream as I am awake for it. <laughs> I, I I will try and do these more often. I feel like it's one of those things where if I was a more full-time streamer, I'd definitely try and do like late streams more often just to be able to like hit different audiences and groups Keep and things. Real. But I also just like don't stream that much. So it's hard to really change the schedule up completely, you know? Late stream today, you know it. Ooh, look at all this experience on the ground. Yeah, we're gonna equip the chest piece. We're gonna do this. We're gonna turn game sounds down. We stab and swipe and stab and swipe and murder. Uh, Madrail, thanks so much for the dono. I do appreciate that. Right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is Blocky here already. I don't think I've seen Blocky. So many pearls. Yeah, I know. I just kind of do. Oh my god, when I was here uh, yesterday, I accidentally threw my ender chest into the void and I was like, thank god I had rockets. <laughs> I need to hook an ender. I need to just like place an ender chest here somewhere. I think I could hook one up right there. No, I couldn't. I guess I could do one right there and raise that double carpet up. We're gonna do that after we finish killing these. It's for real. Your streams make me feel so happy and relaxed. Love your content. Hey Jessica, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Glad you feel like you got a space you can chill here. Well, come on in. So happy and relaxed. Just ignore the sounds of screaming and dying endermen in front of us. All good, Blocky. All good. No pressure, dude. I wish there were big spore blossoms in the game to add to the mega tree. Yeah, I mean, we could hook spore blossoms up up there, but they just wouldn't create the particles like far enough down. There we go. Noise. This goes back in the offhand. We'll fix up the that. We'll fix you up a little bit. Let all that stack up. Fix up the pickaxe, because we can. And then we're gonna whoop, 
And then here we're gonna break those. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do bam and bam, and then I can still open you again. And then we can get an extra ender chest out of there. That way, if I ever do accidentally throw the ender chest out in the void, we can use that. The double carpet is so Enderman can't teleport, by the way. For anybody who's like, why is he, why are we having that? I don't know if that applies to uh, Bedrock as well, but it applies to Java Edition. Stream crashed? Did it crash? It should be here. Stream crash for everybody, or are we uh, people still in here? I'm assuming it's just the one, because there's only one person that said it crashed. Right, that's why we had the bed here, so we teleported back. No, I'm good. Cool. Stream no crash. Fantastic. Apologies to the one individual who it did crash for. You got riggedy riggedy wrecked, mate. No crash? Cool. Alright, I'm gonna sit down. One second. My legs are tired! Enabling ads on a stream is the choice of the creator, yes, but also advertisements on YouTube is the best way to make money. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have them so that if there's no ads, there's no ability for me to keep this as a job full time. So, uh, yeah, ads are going to ads are a core part of the content for every single creator. So we apologize, but it's a necessary evil. Yes, we have descended. Hello, chair. I know, chair's backwards. It's chair. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we're going to go back. Oh, game sounds. I'm excited to get this last row finished so that we don't have to deal with any falling off the edge anymore on this side. That'll be pretty nice. Pretty nash. Ooh, you know what I'm also going to do? Because we have them. Don't mind the ads. I think some people should get revenue where they can make it. Yeah. I mean, if there were no ads, the amount of creators that would be on this platform would be much, much lower. So if you enjoy YouTube content, ads are very much going to be a part of it always so also if you don't enjoy it youtube premium is like five bucks a month it's cheaper than any form of uh subscription to like any any like netflix or disney plus or anything like that it's cheaper <laughs> Oh, there's skeletons underneath us. One second. I have to take care of some business. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, no. I don't know why I went back in. They just blew up all the rooted dirt. Ah. We just lost so much rooted dirt. No. And so many bushes. I should have just ran away. I don't know why I went back in. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I was like, I could definitely swipe him. Missed. <laughs> missed again. <laughs> and missed. <laughs> wow, Creeper is just 
churn through this stuff. Dude blew up all the way over to here? Ugh. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful, awful, awful. Man, I was so excited about all that root of dirt too. I got three. No, I can't. We didn't get a single one. Why are we not growing bushes? There's a bush. I need a third bush. Slap this other one down here. Very dangerous creepers. Yeah, this is from the Lo-Fi Tracks Minecraft release. This is one of the Minecraft Legends ones. I'm in, Australia. I'm in Australia. I've never been able to catch my stream. So glad I'm here. Hey, welcome on in. Good to have you. Yeah, I try and do streams the best I can, but I do know that there's always going to be some audience that won't be able to make it, so I, I try. Well, now we got torches underneath, so the creeper can't spawn again, but yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, well, guess that's a... Uh... Future, future flip paying for uh, what past flip was like, it'll be fine. Spoiler alert. It was not fine. Okay, so we're just going to leave that blank there because that'll eat a lot of our leaves. Now we just got to go here. Gotta go heat. Nope. Here. Here. Everybody's always available. Yeah, I know. It's pretty great. Is Asia gonna love late stream? Yeah. The A Asian audience is very difficult to like just general Asia and like Australia and whatnot it's very difficult to hit that audience time frame when you live on the other side of the world so I try and I I know my streams aren't the best for it but I kind of get some of the late night crew that's awake or I get some of like the really early morning crew towards the end of streams but it's just not really super possible to hit everything For real. I'm an amateur. I meant to send a message. Sorry, it's not much. I'm currently trying to be a qualified bladesmith. Thanks for everything you do. Ooh. Black a bladesmith, like as in like blacksmithing or whatnot. That's cool. And no, no worries at all. No, no. Thank you so much for the second dono. Sorry if you sent that message in chat and I missed it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And good luck. Sounds like a very niche thing, but sounds very, very cool. wonder how many people in the world can say they have that title so you know there you go <laughs> uh mad rail thank you so much again for the dono i really do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you so now we're under the actual minecraft lo-fi vibes i think i'm just gonna climb this and then we're just gonna go across the top and clean up as it's coming back we'll just clear cut everything from here and then we'll pick it all up as we're moving how's your day been uh it's been slow but good but i'm i'm very much in grind mode so i'm very much in like slow just 
grinding away on projects and things, so. Which has been good. I've been making sure to, get, to keep giving myself some breaks so I don't go crazy. And then I was like, you know what? I just... I haven't, like, recorded a clip or anything in, like, three hours, because all I've been doing is placing blocks, and, uh, it's just gonna be a voiceover section later, uh, because <laughs> nobody wants to hear me just talk as I mind leaves inside of a video. Live stream, though, y'all are great. Y'all's patience and willingness to just sit here and watch me do random things, love it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But I was like, I need to talk. I need to, I need to talk to people. I gotta do something. I was like, if I call any of my friends and talk to them, I know they're just going to be like, come play World of Warcraft. And I'll be like, yeah, you're right. I should do that. That sounds like a much better idea than working. Uh, did you change the texture pack in the last month or so? Uh, no, I haven't changed it since 1.20 launched. Uh, I can't remember what I did. I think I just updated the text format and like fixed a few little bugs. A lot of people have been asking me to like change pitcher pods and torch flowers, and I don't know if I'm going to. I think torch flower I could change and modify a little bit to give them a little bit more variety in it, because I think like some little baby torch flowers. A little stupid little baby. Little baby torch flowers. Uh Shelby got that stuck in my head and I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> uh, but I think doing something like that could be kind of fun. Just have like some smaller growing torch flowers. But who knows? They're weird to modify. Like they're a very interesting one to modify. You still enjoy Minecraft even as a job? Yeah. And it has a nice little place in my schedule every single day, and it's wonderful. I just love the process of creating and making something. So being able to do that as a job, for me, I, I, it's a big reward. Now, there's times where I wish I could just be like, you know what? I just want it done. I just want to be finished, and I can log off and publish this video. But uh, overall, still very much a positive thing. Also, sorry if there's some noise. School buses stopping. The kitties, the kitties are back from school. Any new videos soon? Nah, this is the next one. This is, I know, I feel like a lot of people are noticing like a big drought in Minecraft content right now. And I'll be honest, it's just because it is, uh, it's a little down bad to be a Minecraft creator recently. It's, uh, this is like the slowest period of Minecraft views we've had, even including like outside of a January, because January is just such a just like don't even bother being uh, uploading videos in January. It's usually so bad. Um, but <laughs> this time of year right now, like this is the worst I've ever seen it. I had so many people are just like, hey, any other creators noticing a big dip right now? Like if you follow anybody on Twitter, you've probably seen them at one point talking about how rough it is right now being like with views and everything minecraft live is uh gonna bring back a lot of it i think and i very much am a person who i don't overspend i, I don't really spend much money anyways unless something's like fully broken i'm not buying new things uh so like i'm i'm fine I'm kind of pro i i i i'm very risk averse when it comes to finances so like i, I unless i like no know I'm really secure. Like, I, I'm not spending much money on anything. Minecraft always gets a dip around September and January, to be fair. Yeah, they, we, there's definitely always a dip, but, like, this dip right now is more extreme than I have ever seen. But maybe that means that the summer was extra big, which, for me, is was very much the case. Like, my summer was huge. That is the best summer I've ever had on YouTube, so... In the four years I've been doing it. Well, full time, I should say. Four years of full time YouTube. Next week, I think, is when I officially. Sometime next week is when I had officially quit my job four years ago to go full time on YouTube. 
What mob are you gonna vote for? The none have been announced yet, so. None have been announced, so uh, there's nothing to be able to even talk about yet, really. And I really try and stay out of the conversation of like, what if this could be the mob that we're gonna vote for? Because it's one of those things where the community then like talks about those and they get attached to them and then they're mad at Mojang for, sorry, I gotta reread the script real quick, uh, doing their job and presenting ideas um, to add to the game. And then somebody's always like, but this mod developer made this in like two hours. Why does it take Mojang an entire year to add this one mob? Which like I get, but also like the quality behind the mob that Mojang adds, like long-term quality and fitting with the vibe of Minecraft. They actually have to pay attention to that mob vote, like, or modders don't. They just add something into the game that they think would be cool, which could completely make other features irrelevant. And so Mojang's really trying to be careful to make sure none of the features they add to the game make anything else irrelevant. And when you have a game that's this old, that's kind of hard to do. Like, it, it's, it's hard to keep doing that unless you very intentionally make something irrelevant. Congrats on your success so far. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, this is, it's, it's one of those things where I'm just like forever thankful at uh, how YouTube has won so far. I just, I really did not expect to be in the position I'm at, especially at how quickly that we got here. And I, I very much do appreciate it. This has definitely been a life changing experience. So many doors have opened for me and so many, I've met so many people that are just really important to me in my life now that I would not have met otherwise so it's it's been a really cool thing to be to be doing mob votes controversy drives engagement yeah it does it does but I think I mean I think the yeah the mob vote itself like Mojang loves because people tune in for it so like they're there to vote I do like that they've opened the voting outside of just a Twitter poll like now that there's so many different ways to vote they actually can have an accurate number amount of their community voting on these things and more than just the people who tune in for the live stream show because not everybody can watch it i mean it's at a weird hour of the day and now it's on sunday morning which i get because i think it's monday or it's going into monday for like the crew and whoever works there so like i get it but being on a sunday versus being on a monday seems weird to me or versus a Saturday. You think you'd want a big live stream show on a Saturday. Hit more people. Especially when it's like NFL football season. I don't know if there's any big games there, but like so many Americans live and die by their football. Whether it's college football, but I guess that's Saturdays or Sundays is always NF like professional football. And uh so many people will just nothing can get in the way of their Sunday football. <laughs> I had a few coworkers at my last job who like every single Sunday, they literally were in like four or five fantasy leagues and they would just sit there watching every single NFL game that happened. Their entire day was structured around it. And if there were multiple games happening at once, they had multiple TVs set up so they could watch all the games and they would just sit in their living room, make food and just like chill, like get some food in a crock pot and just chill and watch games all day. And I'm like, I wish I had that level of obsession with anything <laughs> that amount of drive just to like set your entire life or I guess I kind of have that with Minecraft and like gaming stuff but it's my job so it feels different now is that even fun I could never do it I'll like I'll watch the Super Bowl like that's that's fun even if you don't know who's playing like I'll watch and I'll, if we'll like go to a bar or go hang out with some friends or like throwing a party for it or something but like outside of that I'm nah me with D and D podcast. <laughs> That's fair. Sorry, itchy nose. I really want to find a gardening podcast. Like just a, I can just find some nice old ladies who just talk about gardening and how they run their garden in their house. That is like peak podcast content that I want right now. I think I need to get it more closer to spring, but I'm like I'm in like learning mode. I had so much fun like having the garden as a hobby this year and it was like doing that I learned so much and I'm excited I'm excited for next year 
like the Roots and Refuge podcast? Wait, is this like actually a thing? Because I've been trying to find one. I haven't been able to find one. Was obsessive wow over your job though? No, but uh, eh. no. <laughs> I did earn money off World of Warcraft at one point though. So technically I did. I did I earn as much as I spent on my subscription? No, but I earned money at one point. And it was through legitimate means. Has a YouTube channel too. Oh, okay, cool. I'll check him out. I'd love to find one that's like a local Pacific Northwest one, just so they like are like talking about relevant things to like the season around me, I think would be really cool. But yeah, who knows? For my birthday though, my mom uh, got me this like pop-up greenhouse that we can put in our yard, which I'm excited for. So we can uh, do that and get the little starter plants out there earlier in the year instead of having to keep them inside. So they can survive. So we'll have a little greenhouse to keep them warm. When's the new video coming? Uh, I have no, I don't have an answer. This is the next video I'm working on. It, uh, It's a big boy. I'm hoping not next Thursday, but the Thursday after will be the latest that it will happen. So. I don't know. There might not be a video for a week or two, so we'll be pretty heavy on streams for a while. I'm getting there though. It's it's we're making progress. The low the lower level of branches is by far the most extreme section, and once this is finished up and moving forwards and moving upwards into like the upper canopy, then it's gonna start speeding up a lot. So we're slowly getting there. Start with strawberries. We did a we we have a basil plant that's still going outside. It's it's getting a, it's starting to get a little gnarly just being into the fall. But I really love that. We have rosemary that's still growing. That's cool. We have carrots that we're finally pulling that are fun. Next year I really want to do some squash, like some sort of like a butternut squash or something. I think it'd be really cool. Um, we did lettuce, like a lot of ty different types of lettuce, which was really fun. I don't think I'll do as much. But that was cool just to throw in for summer salads and things. Uh, I definitely want to get like something. I really want to put some like blueberry plants in the yard, like blueberry trees. Bushes, I guess. Gonna play Stardew Valley in real life? Yeah, I've, I've graduated from Stardew Valley itself. I'm ready for real life Stardew Valley. I, have a, I think I have a good place in our yard that I could put some blueberry bushes, which would be really fun to work on. Lizzie keeps trying to tell me I need to plant peas. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? Too much. You ever plant so much zucchini? Ooh, zucchini would be fun. We're almost there. We're almost there. This this round is finishing up. Can't decide if I want to just stay up tonight after dinner and everything like that just to finish placing all the leaves that I'm working on on the current layer. I've got a few thousand left to place. For the sake of time and uh, not wanting to kill myself on this video, because placing the leaves, one is my least favorite part of the original tree. Like I really hated how the shape of the leaves worked and everything like that. So I did decide to go into a creative copy and like use world edit to get the leaves placed in. And I'm just using Lightmatica, easy place to run into, run into them. I mentioned in the video, I'm being very clear on it, being like, here, the reason being is yesterday, I did it yesterday, and I placed the first 20,000 leaves in, and with not having to pillar around in dirt and, like, place and do all that stuff and do, just, like, being able to place the leaves in where they're supposed to go and everything and not using, like, tens of thousands of dirt to get me around there, not only did I not have to gather the dirt, but the time of placing and, like, weaving your way around up and down and all that... I'm pretty sure I saved like five hours of work yesterday. I was like, if I can keep saving five hours of work every single time I'm in leaf placing mode, 
Like, that means the video is going to come out multiple days earlier. And overall, for the sake of the content, I think that's worth it. <laughs> like, I just, if people are upset about it at this point, I'm doing it for the, doing it for the content. Yeah, I placed 20,000 leaves yesterday. The tree itself. Here, look, look at the stats. I mean, I've used azalea leaves elsewhere, but we have 46,000 azalea leaves placed in this world so far. We've now almost mined 60,000. Why'd you decide to expand the world tree? Because it looks really bad. It looked really bad. The proportions were just really off. It need it needed an expansion. I think even what I'm doing, technically, it could go a little bit bigger, but this is definitely... This is the max I'm doing. We might, like, add to it again later on, but it'd be such a small change that you wouldn't even be able to, like, notice how far it's... How much changed or was added or whatever. Also don't love it as it goes. I do get it, but I also don't love it as it goes away from survival. I mean, it's one of those things where for the sake of being a content creator, sometimes you do have to fudge things a little bit. I'm not saying cheat. I'm not saying I'm adding any materials. Why else would I be here live streaming for an hour and a half gathering leaves? Um, but for the sake of being able to finish a video and get it out done efficiently, would you rather that the video comes an extra week late most likely um just to be able to hit the upload time slot or would you prefer that i do this like it, the ultimate goal i feel like for youtubers is uploading content and creating content for people to watch and people want to watch videos and doing things 100 percent vanilla legit i've never ever said i'm gonna do that i already use data packs in the world i kind of see this has the same thing as using a data pack granted my data packs are very basic but like enderman griefing's disabled in this world some people think that's super cheaty i think it's a great way to preserve my builds and i want to use fun texturing in the builds so i don't know it's one of those things where like sure it's not a hundred percent legit like it is a mod being added to the game to allow for it but also <laughs> I am the one making the video and at this point I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know what project is after the tree? Or all you see tree, all I see is Azalea leaves. The thumbnail of this live stream is very accurate. Uh realistically speaking, I think the um I'm just gonna turn on time lapse now and just run that for the rest of this. There's only so many montages I can do. Oh man, actually we can take this. Slowly me misplacing bone meal will fill in that gap over there. I love using data packs and all that. It's only cheating if you pretend you're not doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably announce that I actually have a data pack on here that uh, makes it so every time you break an ancient debris, it actually gives you another red ingot. I just thought maybe I should share that. And also, by the way, next week, video coming out about getting another red beacon. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Completely kidding. <laughs> Before somebody goes, huh. Next project, another city. You, you do say that, and I also do really want to redo the Nether Hub. But I don't think I can commit to something that big quite yet. I think the Nether Hub is going to be a January project. And just spend all January working on it. And, like, do a big chunk on live streams. Kind of how we did last January. We did the uh, terraforming down there and did the whole custom biome on the edge of the birch forest. For the base of the mountain. And that was last January's mega project. Uh, and basically, January I treat as a month where I will upload one video. And outside of that, we're just going to be streaming and vibing and hanging. Um, so just one to kind of work back into the year and like slowly get back into the swing of things. And then two, it's just a really bad month for revenue wise. It's, it's one of those times where I'll put all the work into a video. And then the amount that I pay to have the video edited by Marcos is the last January was equal to what I earned off of the video on YouTube. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, maybe not. And the video did fairly well for January. So I'm just not bothering on it anymore. Love the Birch Forest. Yeah, the Birch Forest was fun. I'd love to do another custom forest. I really, 
really, really want to do more custom forests. I'm trying to watch where the tree grows and make sure I'm... Okay, we need more bone meal. Nope. Nope. Two thousand votes on the poll. Woohoo! Two thousand votes on the poll and only one thousand likes on stream. <laughs> you hate me. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, last January, I'll show y'all. For those who don't remember, custom mangrove. No, no, no. That would be torture. That would be torture. Having to farm all the mangrove trees to be able to make a custom mangrove forest. Uh, uh. Uh, Nat and Cat, I honestly am not the one to answer. I only know the basics of World Edit. Um, I believe Junipy with two eyes at the end has some World Edit tutorials or somebody in the bakery. Honestly, go watch Bakery Builders. They're the ones who are like the Giga Chad Voxel Sniper Go Brush users nowadays. They can teach you everything you'd need to know. Um, but yeah, that's where I would say recommend to go to. Yeah, last January, we had the monolith. We had the forest there. We basically built this whole region on stream. Like, did all of that and cut it into a video. Currently farming mangrove. I feel sorry for you. The mangrove trees drive me crazy because of how many ways the branches will just go Yoop! complete diagonal. And it's so hard to find where the actual log goes. Pillager Outpost upgrade would be cool. I would love to transform that. That would be a fun one to do one day. Built a custom snowy pine forest and creative. Ooh. Sounds fun. I really want to work on the pine trees that go like up into the. We've done a few of them. I'll show you all at the end of this. Let's get these all grown up and I'll pause again and we can fly over. Yeah, let's we'll pause that again. But I really love the. Uh... See it here in a second. That'll pop up. It looks pretty small now compared to that tree. But those guys, I'm a little worried with their height. If they work up the mountain, they'll kind of dwarf the mountain itself because they're like half as tall as the dang thing. Um, but that tree over there, I'd love to add some more of those like right in there. Those were really fun. I, I think we're going to definitely have to transform this mountain eventually make it a lot spikier along with that one and along with the mountain over there. Like, I don't think that's going to be a single video project. I'm not transforming three mountains in a single video. That's not going to happen. You can't make me do it. Uh, 5,104 day count. But eventually those mountains do need to be a little whooped. You should add some more things to the sky. I don't really like too much stuff in the sky. It's, uh, I, I like to have it pretty clear and just like the clouds kind of drifting along. So we have the Star Trader airship just for the sake of the Star Trader having a place to live. And then outside of that, I would... I don't really want to add too much. Like I want, I want the Giga Tree to stand up there unobstructive, unobstructed. It needs to be like its own forefront of everything that we've done and built. If I'm, if I'm putting what I'm assuming, because it's already got, it was thir I think it was eighteen thousand leaves or twenty thousand leaves to begin with inside the Giga Tree. And then honestly, I'm gonna probably make a schematic at the end and just copy it and paste it in just to count how many azalea leaves are in the thing. But there's 18,000 logs in it before I started now. And then I added another 2,000 logs and probably another 1,000 tough blocks and probably another 1,000 mossy cobble. So like the Giga Tree is nearing the 100,000 block count on the build itself. Please and I don't wanna to. hide that. If I'm putting 100,000 blocks into a tree, I want that tree to be forefront and center and shining over everything. The man who couldn't live or live. I don't know. Thank you so much for this. Become a supporter. Appreciate it. He couldn't live. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Three-headed Mountain Dew. Thank you so much for the three months. Giga Tree build was the first hardcore episode I watched after binging all the previous ones. 
my heart build sending you all the strength hey we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely only 105 days now in the in the world to get there <laughs> da -ching! hey thank you so much for the five gift subs on top of becoming a supporter yeah, i really appreciate that thank you very much my friend okay let's get the leaves off of here and then we're gonna jump down and start churning through just liked thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much Really? All right. How, oh my God! We've almost been live for two hours, and I'm not. I'm not even halfway. <laughs> we'll finish this. We will finish all these trees because that'll make a nice time lapse. And I will need to go stretch my legs. I think the leaf grind has been more or less mind numbing than the wither skeleton farm grind. Less, but more in different ways. This is definitely less mind numbing. That was fun as soon as I could start blowing things up. I, but then I will say having the TNT launchers going and having to dip and dive and like constantly watch it to be able to get rid of all the all of the lava that was like in the thing, that was pain. Like that sucked a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Uh, and then the, I, I would say, I'm never gonna do that again. I know, yeah, like I understand now why everybody's just like, yeah, just build the ENX04 farm. Like I'm, I'm on, I'm on that train next time. If there's a new hardcore series or there's a new series where I want a wither skelly farm, you best believe I'm building the ENX04 wither skeleton farm that doesn't require any amount of nether fortress clearing or anything. You just got to find the right spot for it. Yeah. I'm going to make that one. Uh, and then yeah, the clearing out the lava underneath, which was not even necessary. I just wanted the look and also the safety. It was necessary for the hardcore front because I'd rather hit the ground, pop a totem, and then just be down there on the ground, like if an elytra breaks or something, or I fall off, instead of falling into lava. And then, oh gosh, I can't get out of swimming mode into flying mode. Oh, I can't get out of here. Oh, I'm 200 blocks from the nearest edge. I'm dead. Which is like, th that's the main reason why I was like, I'm going to get rid of the lava. Like, and it'll look, it'll look more impressive. I will say I would love to one day go through and like do a cool glass design along the base, but I don't think I'm up for that. Plans for new papyrus. I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break from it. Uh, new papyrus was like, it kind of became all consuming. So I think I'm going to give it like three or four episodes working elsewhere and just doing other things. I, I actually, I think somebody asked earlier, I actually do have the plan in mind for the next um, video and I want to, I'm going to do some technical stuff. I still want to build on top of it and make some really cool things, but I haven't done anything technical for a long time in this world. I mean, we built a sea pickle farm. That was uh, that was the extent of the technical stuff that's happened in the desert. So I'm currently between either doing a um, drown farm and like a legit overworld drown farm because I really want to be able to decorate with Nautilus, sh not Nautilus shells, um, conduits. And I need a lot of Nautilus shells to do that. I just, I love conduits. They're such a fun item that I just never use because Nautilus shells are such a pain to get. When you have more hearts of the sea than you have Nautilus shells, that something's wrong. Um, so <laughs> I want to, I want to go through and get some of those. I think that'd be fun and then also get that's i mean that's an unlimited source of copper which would be great 
and I've got a river biome nearby that could do it. And then on top of that, the other one is I want to get something more set up for mushroom trees and farming mushroom trees and things. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Did you just give an hey, gift an real. you did give another videos. five memberships. I was like, Thank you for what all is the content and keep going on. Like, why did this just re-pop up in the stream? <laughs> Thank you for another five gift members, my dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The man who couldn't live. I'm gonna go with live just for fun because we're live streaming. Uh, and Willem, thanks so much for the dono. Uh, thanks for all your content. Keep going. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good day. What leave? Uh, my better leaves texture back is weird or, or that's... Or what's Whip's texture pack? Uh, my texture pack is only available for members or Patreon supporters. Uh, so if you're not, you unless I mean I'm, I'm assuming by the gray name that you're not a member or Patreon supporter. So that's the only way to get mine. But if you're using somebody else's and you're getting big black boxes around it, make sure fancy textures and fancy leaves are enabled in your settings. So if you normally play Why'd with leaves collect? where they aren't transparent and you can't see through them, that's gonna ruin the bushy leaves. Sheriff, thank you so much for the dono. I am AFK in my survival world here and I came here, love vids by the way. Hey, don't die. Make sure you AFK somewhere safe. Appreciate the dono though, thank you very much. Will you know their hardcore series after this one? Uh, current plans is yes. I hope it doesn't come to that point anytime soon. I would love to hit five digits on the day count. That would be so cool. I would absolutely love to hit 10,000 days survived. That'd, that'd be such a cool accomplishment. Uh, but who knows? If hardcore is still... I love hardcore. I think hardcore is really fun. Um, so as long as it's something that's like relevant in the Minecraft community at that time, I'll definitely do another hardcore series. Uh, I really, I kind of prefer it stays in hardcore than goes back to like regular survival just cause I find hardcore a lot more entertaining for me as a creator because I know I'm good enough to survive unless I get really caught off guard by something. Like, as soon as you get set up in a hardcore world and you get your netherite and everything, it's really not that difficult to survive in the game. It's really just about being aware of where you are is how you can survive so long. So, like, that's... And as soon as you have a totem, like, let's be honest, you're pretty safe. But all that being said, um, I think next hardcore season, I'm going to do on large biomes. That I want to for sure whether or not the villager changes come through i think that's just gonna be such a fun way to play and making it different you know and also makes it a little bit more of a challenge so i don't know i really like hardcore stuff in minecraft i think it's a good way of a challenge for me especially in single player because single player without hardcore i find gets a little boring because there's once you eventually get so set up in the world and you decide to start just go mining for diamonds casually every once in a while blah 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 if you die it doesn't mean anything because you're gonna have so many resources and so many experience farms set up that you can just like get back to where you were in 10 seconds and keep on going which is great if you want to play casually but for me i to keep me motivated in a world i need that little bit of a like a threat of like i gotta stay on top of it i gotta stay focused so i, I like the hardcore scene not for everybody though i totally understand that or Jimmy keeps trying. What's the purple glass about with the Giga tree? I wanted to split it in half and make it look like a magical thing was like holding the tree together. And when I originally started this series, there was like a, there was a mystical magical force that is kind of represented in magenta stained glass. You'll see a few buildings back in like the spawn area being held together or shaped out by magenta glass. Um, so I wanted that, but then the inspiration for the tree being split in half came from God of War. Uh, when you're in like the, in one of the games, the, like the 2020 one or whatever that came out, that was on, whatever came out on PC. I don't have a PlayStation. Uh, but there's a God of War game where you go into this place and you just chill. I always butcher the pronunciation. 
Uh, but it's like split in half on like this place where you can take like portals. You can like go through portals to different dimensions. But in there it's like split in half and held together kind of like how the tree is that I have and I saw that and I was thinking about doing the world tree project and I saw that and I was like that is really cool that's how I want to do it like I think that is such a cool way of having a giant tree and then it's just different than the trunk going up and being more of the same I thought it kind of helped split it and add a little bit more feature piece to it I'd love to add a little bit more bark along it though like we have a few strips of the bark in there but I think we could add a few more I think I think it could happen. No hardcore for me, but I do like in, but I do enjoy do I I do like some challenge. Yeah. Did you enjoy God of War? I enjoyed it until I really did not. <laughs> I would love to play the new one, like Ragnarok, when that came out. I would when whenever that and Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West come out on PC, like I'm gonna buy them both and play them, like for sure. Um But <laughs> The funny part about God of War, for me, I got to a point where I was like, man, I'm done with this game. This is, uh, I'm done. I'll come back later when I feel like it. And then I stopped playing for like four weeks. And then I came back in, I logged in, and I walked forward, and the credits rolled. <laughs> I literally beat the boss without realizing it was the last boss, because I was like, all right, whatever. This is just another dude I got to smash. Uh, and it didn't really feel like this end-all, be-all final boss encounter. Like, I just kind of steamrolled him. Just absolutely destroyed him. And so I was like, all right, whatever. That was a mini boss. Let's just keep going. We'll see what happens next. And I'm kind of done. I'll pick this game back up when I'm inspired by it again. And, like, want to finish the story. Hey, it's me, the man who couldn't live in. I'm safe. Thank God. You are safe. Did I miss something else in chat? Thank you so much for the donut. I really do. Oh, you're safe as tribal world. I was like, wait, why did I miss something? <laughs> Thank you so much for the dono and all the support, my dude. I really appreciate that. But yeah, that was the only game I think I've ever played where I quit playing and then I finally was like, all right, let's do it. I got to like, I'm ready. I got a night of gaming ahead of me. Let's do it. Let's finish this game. Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready to finish the story. <laughs> like walked out of my office like 10 minutes later because i've been talking to sid i was like yeah i'm gonna go finish this game i've been working on for a while like i think i'm gonna finally do it and i walked back downstairs she was like weren't you gonna go play games i was like oh i finished she, she was like that fast i was like yep never had that happen before where i literally logged out hit the save point and quit playing right before i beat it and i was like yep yeah, that's yeah Woo, there we go so um yeah i don't know i enjoyed it though i think it was fun the combat after a while just felt very samey to me and i don't know got a little weird i guess what's the worst game you've ever played oh man i have no idea i will say though i hate call of duty i know a lot of people are gonna be like <gasps> what yeah i just first person shooters for me outside of halo first person shooters that are and m mostly like the new battle royale genre i hate i can't stand them but like csgo and um all those games just i can't I can't do it they're not they're not for me i understand that there's people out there who want to play those games and all that stuff but i don't know I much prefer games that are like fantasy and swords and magic and like bow and arrow combat instead of guns and things. I don't know. Just not what I want to open up video games and see the entire time. Clear missions from then. No, I didn't realize that data accidentally reset. Just finished it recently. <laughs> what do you think of Rainbow Six Siege? It's the same exact thing. Uh, I have zero... Zero part of me wants to play that game. He blew up a torch. Like, how did a mob spawn down there? What about Valheim? I played Valheim for a little bit. Honestly, the way they did the graphical rendering for me was really messing with my brain for a bit. I just like I couldn't get into it the way they did like the rendering and things being so pixelated from far away 
just really mess with my brain more than I thought it would. So, yeah, I just, I couldn't get super into it. It wasn't, it was fun. I feel like if I had friends to play with, it would have been really cool, but I just couldn't get any of my friends to play it. I haven't played the new Harry Potter game, no. I just, I'm not a Harry Potter fan, like to begin with. Sid and I watched the Harry Potter movies for the very first time last year. Like neither of us had seen it and we kind of both were like, or it was kind of towards the tail end of COVID. We were like, well, we got nothing better to do. Let's, uh, you wanna just start watching the movies and see, like see what we've been missing out on. And that was the first time I'd ever seen the movies. I was a Lord of the Rings kid growing up. Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Those, the, those are enough for me. That being said, I still haven't seen the new Rings of Power series. I want to do it. I'm just, I keep forgetting about it. I keep picking other shows. Sad. Nah, I mean, I will say when we watch them, it's one that I think is really benefits a lot from nostalgia. <laughs> like they were not good movies. <laughs> There was, there was really, I know I might lose some people here, but there was nothing that special about the movies that I think warrant the cult following that they do have. And I mean, maybe it's in the books and everything. I don't know. They just, I could not, we, we were like, all right, we'll watch them just for the sake because everybody says they're amazing. And then nah, couldn't, couldn't get into it. Neither of us were really left being like, wow, this was great. Love Rings of Power so good. That's good to hear. I've heard so many mixed feelings about it, but I think that's, I don't know. The same thing we were talking about with gaming earlier is people are either like, love it. They'll, they will ride or die and play the game for the rest of their life. Or they will say it's the worst thing everybody created. And I think that's the same with TV shows right now. Like people's opinions are so volatile. There's no middle ground. There's the world very much exists in absolutes right now and it's so sad to see because there's so many things that like it's okay to be b tier like it's okay to not be the best thing out there and it's okay for a show to be okay like every show you watch doesn't have to be the best thing you've ever seen and always better than the previous things like that's just impossible there's no way to live up to that standard Okay, how many do we have? We got eight shulker boxes. That's enough to finish the layer I'm on here that I'm working on, so that's good. We're a little into the... Uh, that's like another eight shulker box. That's like another hour. Uh, why do likes matter on videos or streams? More people leaving a like on the stream helps YouTube push it out to more people. So if you all leave a like on the stream, it actually helps more people find the stream and join to be a part of it. Same thing for videos is the more people that like it, the more YouTube's like, oh, people liked this content, quite literally. Um, let's recommend it to more people and see if they also like it. And then if people continue to leave likes on it, then YouTube's like, wow, this is good content. Let's keep recommending it more because obviously people are wanting to watch it. So Ka -ching! the best way to get content out there is like the easiest way for content to like grow is watch duration is huge. Um, and then on top of watch duration and then takes into account like how many people leave likes on it and how many people leave comments and everything like and then also of course how many views are on there even if there's views with no interaction or anything like it still is a positive uh new life ended for me i i'm not uploading on the series anymore i'm sorry for everybody who's holding out for a flip upload on there I'm just i felt i feel like there's nothing that i can do on there that i'm gonna really enjoy the process of doing and so I don't, I don't want to make content that I'm not really enjoying the process of. Also, man who couldn't live, I really appreciate the five more gift memberships. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're like, you'd like Farming Simulator. The weird part is I don't enjoy many of those types of games. <laughs> like the only like true building games that I really enjoy are Minecraft and like Stardew Valley. Like like any farming sims like i love uh the occasional 
city builder game or whatever, but I don't play them for super long. I don't enjoy games that have artificially complex systems just for the sake of it being a complex system. And I feel like Farming Sim kind of does that. I don't know much about the game. Other, like, I've seen a few, I, I think I've seen Yogg's cast play it or something. And I instantly was just like, eh. I don't know. I don't like realistic games. Any game that looks like the real world, I'm like, I could go outside and do this. I don't need to, I don't need this to be in the game that I'm playing. Like, I just, I would prefer just to, like, walk on outside and go do the thing. So, I don't know. I, I, I really like pixelated and, like, stylized games. I, I just don't find a whole lot of joy in playing games that look ultra-realistic. So, like, this whole, like, push towards 4K graphics being the best thing ever and all that stuff. I'm like, really? Really? Do we have, we have to go there? We have, can we, how about we let artists do what artists do and make some really cool-looking stuff? You have to check out City Skylines. I can't do that game. I, I, uh... I don't like City Skylines at all. Uh, are you going to move to Twitch? I prefer you to be on YouTube. You, uh, I was thinking about moving to Twitch for a while, full honesty. I was just because YouTube was in such a bad point for me. But I had some chats with people on... I resumed, right? I did. Perfect. I had some chats with people who stream on Twitch and the numbers that they get versus like the numbers I see here on YouTube and like revenue counts and things like that that people are hitting at and where I think I would land on if I move over if to Twitch real, for streaming Lord and things like rings, that. The books and are basically my family's religion. On the one hand, yes, I'm exaggerating, but also both of my grandparents' funerals had readings from LOTR. That's funny. That's cool though. That's cool that your family has that all kind of coming together and everything. That's fun to be able to bond over something like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, long story short, I'm not moving to Twitch. I'm, I'm gonna ride it out here. I, th I think I was very much like in a, in a place where like things are not going great and I need to find a way to change things up. And that was like the biggest, grandest, craziest change I could think of. And I was like, this has to work. Like, obviously Twitch is better, like blah, blah, blah. Just because like, I know YouTube isn't the best place for streaming. It's really not. Like, Twitch is a better product, but I I don't think it's worth it for me to move over. I still have hope that one day YouTube will actually add features for live streaming. Could you imagine if they added some form of channel points to YouTube that not only could you get by watching the stream, but you could also get on your first watch watching a video? Do you know how cool that would be? Like, make it so that, that people can't rig it and just get millions of points by re-watching content. But, like, the first time you watch a video, you can get, like, channel points or whatever on YouTube for that streamer, for that creator. And then, like, you can redeem those things that the creator can set up rewards for. You know how easy and simple of a win that would be for YouTube? So many people love farming channel points on Twitch. If they built that into a way here on YouTube of a way where it also applied to watching videos. Do you know how much views would go up across the board for creators that were able to leverage that? Because people would be like, oh my God, I want the points. I'm gonna go watch Flip's entire catalog of videos that I haven't seen before because I wanna get the points for watching those videos so that I can afford name a axolotl after me in the hardcore world. Do you know how cool that would be? That's. It's so easy. It's an easy win. That is such an easy win. And then <laughs> the amount of increase they would get out of that would be absurd. The amount of views would go up, especially for like gaming creators that are able to leverage it or anybody who's able to leverage it. Lifestyle people could be able to leverage that too easily. You could have so many fun things that would be based, like at, leave it up to the creator to decide what they are giving away for channel points be so nice that would be really cool right i pitched that to them a while ago it's like please take this idea to make it like i don't even need credit just make this happen and they're like yeah no i was like ah, guys 
I don't know what they have against doing channel points. It's like they could do it in a way I'm sure where I I feel like they're probably worried about being sued by Twitch for adding some, some sort of community points feature. But also like Twitch is not the first to do that. So I don't know. I don't know what the legality of it is and trademarks and everything, but just I don't know. YouTube is too focused on shorts right now and like making shorts super profitable and the way that they're doing that is like by allowing like all of these YouTube shopping things that they're announcing and working on and really expanding YouTube shopping so like they're basically building in building in affiliate links for me to like link you all to Amazon things and then I'll get a kickback off of that and whatever like product is being sold and I'm like I don't know not for me not for me fam I don't want to be constantly selling you all things like that's that's not why I got in I didn't get into content creation because I want to be a salesman I got in content creation because I want to make fun videos I feel like if I want to if I go that route I need to like hire somebody to manage and do all this store stuff and <laughs> like I don't know but then I, I don't know I, I want whatever I'm doing to be very genuine shorts are so spammy shorts Minecraft shorts are terrible they're so bad. Five more gift memberships? Are you kidding me? Wow. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that 20 or 25 today? I really do appreciate that. Please make sure you're not overextending yourself, though. Please, 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 please. I really do appreciate all the support, but make sure you're looking after yourself first, all right? Last one have to go see you hey 25 i i really appreciate it thank you so much for the support today it was very very kind of you hey that oh the on shorts it's like don't be hating on my notification sounds i love them <laughs> a little easter egg for everybody who also is a fellow wow nerd all of the voices i have in here are either goblins from world of warcraft gnomes from world of warcraft and i think one of them is a dwarf they're all like introductions or if you like talk to a merchant <laughs> i love them they're great do you remember the sprout smp no if i wasn't on it i probably don't remember it. if i was on it i might not remember it i don't think i was on anything called sprout not ringing a bell Also, there's so many Minecraft SMPs out there. There's no way anybody could know of all of them. Let alone all of them that YouTubers play on. You were on it? I was on Sprout? Was I really? What was this? Boxes or armor on Java? I don't know. I don't think so. Like, like they can pick up an armor. I don't know if they get value out of it. SMP. What was that? Was that a modded one? I don't remember. Six years ago. That must have been very early days because I've only been on YouTube. I, I think we're at seven and a half years. Eight years. No, we just. YouTube Gaming just told me I've been on here for eight years, so you know, there's that. Why don't you go for building? Because uh, I need like 40,000 azalea leaves to <laughs> build the next thing. So uh, we grind. And the tree gathering so relaxing you do it. Love coming up into the streams. Hey, appreciate it. It is kind of nice just like going brr, 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 through a bunch of blocks, whatever it might be. I'm really tempted uh, to do a stream soon. I don't think it would take terribly long because we have 31,300 blocks to mine to get netherite pickaxes over a million. And I think that could be cool. I think that could be really, really fun to take on the challenge of getting our first, first statistic 
uh, for the blocks tab above a million. I don't know if there's any other stats in there that are above a million or not. I don't think so. I think I think pickaxe is the farthest. Maybe st I mean, when we're counting in kilometers, no, we don't. But meters, like the amount of space we've traveled, is definitely over a million blocks by now. You could expand the copper aging thing. I need to fix that up. That we need to. I think I want to slab the floor on top. Like the upper floor needs to be slabbed. Uh, so that we can walk around a little bit more easily and break the ceiling ones. Because right now you have to be like right under it and doing like that to hit it. So it's a little far to grab. Because it's five blocks up. Yeah. Also, I want to fix up the walls of that place. It's pretty ugly. That could be kind of a fun stream to do as like a get us close to the million because then we mine out all the walls. We do all that. We figure out how we want to decorate it and then that'll kind of get us under the 30k mark probably. Cash me up. What are we doing? Uh, chopping trees. <laughs> Gathering azalea leaves is the goal. Not the flowering ones. We're keeping those anyways, just in case I ever want to build a flowering tree. Maybe I'll build a springtime biome. Where everything is flowering and beautiful. I still want to build like a mountain highlands biome. And have cows. That's where we can have our cow farm. Build a giant highland mountain ranch where most of the terrain will be made out of path blocks. So you get like a cool golden grass color. And we have some like coarse dirt and rooted dirt areas. Ah, oh, it'd be beautiful. Is this for the world tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should add mini trees based off the mega tree around the base to make it as a biome. I want the giga tree to stand on its own, but what i am doing is like one of the relig religions i say very loosely of this world is the i'm building a shrine like there's a shrine inside the flower forest village where we have all the flower farms and the tulip fields and everything there's a shrine in there of like a chapel of the gig of the giga tree where they have a sapling like one of the saplings off of the world tree is in there and so I think doing more stuff like that in different regions, because I, I don't want to add any real world religious connotations into this. Cause they just don't need to be in my Minecraft world. Um, that I think it could be kind of fun. That's why you haven't seen me build anything like a cathedral or anything like that. We meant, I have do have a loose plan for like a cathedral of the world tree where everything is geared around the tree. Is Giga Tree related to Groot? It does say I am Groot occasionally. I don't know where it's coming from. Occasionally it's just echoed across the valley. I am Groot. We'll just start putting those in here. I gotta go chop, drop those off soon. We should bring back Jeremyism. Jeremyism is not my thing to bring back. I still think it's so funny. I love the fact that I just like joined Jeremyism and that was my last episode. <laughs> I kind of, the entire season was people saying, you should join Jeremyism, you should join Jeremyism, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And then my little last episode is me joining Jeremyism and killing myself. <laughs> that was the funniest way I thought I could end X Life. <laughs> I think it was like as soon as Scott was like, so the new rule is that you can't leave Jeremyism unless you die. And I think I literally just instantly lit my feet on fire. <laughs> just, just... X Life was for, for my time. I had no idea.
X Life was a fun one. That was that was I think my favorite modded series we've done was for sure X Life. And I think it's up there for my favorite SMP series we've done. I still think Empire Season 1 is my favorite SMP I've ever been a part of. Um, but I think next would probably be um, X-Life. Also, just because it was such a big growth point for me on my channel, I felt like I really... Like, that was... Like, I started full-time YouTube, and I kind of was, like, skating by on doing full-time YouTube and, like, trying to make some friends. But outside of Sausage, I just didn't really know anybody on YouTube. Like, I had some people, like, I was... Like, I knew Jim, but I wasn't good friends with her. Um, I knew a few other people that were on there. And then X-Life was really where I felt like I found my friend group on YouTube, which is why it's one of those that's, like, a, a big favorite for me. Source Block was cool. That was... I. It was really sad how it ended. Like, it was a really cool vibe. It was a really, really cool idea. But then, unfortunately, a lot of it, like, we didn't realize at the time, but came out of, like, Beef was trying to rejoin Hermitcraft, and they told him no until he could, like, prove that he could get a stable Minecraft series running. And he didn't tell us that. And so he started Source Block because he didn't want to do a single-player thing as, like, his re-entry back into Minecraft to get back on Hermitcraft. And then... As soon as he got the invite to Hermitcraft, he sent us a message and said, Hey, I'm joining Hermitcraft. Uh, I'll run the server for you guys if you want to, but uh, I'm not playing here anymore. And it just... I felt like I got used a little bit. Like, it was fun working on there. It was fun to be able to, like, do the things we did. But as soon as that message happened and came across, I was like, I'm done with this series. Like, any amount of effort or w inspiration I had for the series is just gone because I felt like I was used. And that was, that was not fun. It was one of those things where if that information came across before, would have sucked to have known that, but at least like we could have reacted accordingly. Nice to meet you. Instead of the person who was like pulling the strings behind the series to do all like the server events, just disappearing. Yeah. But I mean, that was already kind of a series set up to fail because there were so many people that came onto it. So many people were like big returning names that had these big successful channels. Then they showed up to the intro. Like, <laughs> I won't name names or anything, but you can go watch the intro and then check out people's channels who actually uploaded and you can see. But there's, there's a lot of people that have just moved onto my blacklist of I'm not working with them again because they showed they were there for the intro recording and then they just never even posted a first vi video, but they were in the background of all of our videos and it had like parts playing in the intro and everything because it was a little like mini scripted thing. And then they just, they just, that was it. They never logged back onto the server and never even sent messages of like, hey guys, like this isn't going to work. I have some real life stuff coming up. They just like ghosted and disappeared. Good beef with beef. No, I mean, it's one of those where like, it would take a lot of, convincing i guess to like do a series with him again but like i don't think he's a bad person i think he just like was worried that if he told us that he um we all would have said no but like i think it's one of those where there's a right way to say that of like hey i'm trying to get back into minecraft i'm trying to get back into here and uh also just so you know that like eventually my goal is to get back on hermitcraft i don't know when that's gonna happen but if it does like i'm gonna go over there because that's where all my friends are that completely different situation <laughs> like that's the proper professional way to handle that i'm just gonna put these down i know we're at the end but like of all the people i've cl collabed with and the people i record with again i can count on one hand yeah, unfortunately, starting out on YouTube, there's a lot of risks you got to take of, like, just meeting people to put faces to names and, like, starting to build those friendships. And unfortunately, a lot don't work out, especially when you're just getting started because there's so many people of varying levels and varying levels of how cool they think they are is a big part of it. <laughs> the amount of people I've recorded with that have then talked about how... I should be thankful that they recorded with me because they have more subscribers than me. 
uh, is, uh, unfortunately, that number can go on two hands. <laughs> if not more. <laughs> and uh, that's just such a bad attitude to have on YouTube. But you unfortunately get that when you have a p lot of people who are smaller and, like, actively looking for new people to record because you don't have your crew that you record with. Like, it's pretty easy for a lot of people to just think they're the coolest thing ever. Especially when you're just getting started out. I remember I had one person who was like, hey, I need to watch your video and see how you're representing me because I don't want you to put me in a bad light. I'm like, if you're recording a collab with somebody, like, I get that. Like, that's great, but I'm not allowing you to edit, check my video. If you think you're getting put in a bad light, that's that's you on how you're recording things and how you're representing yourself. <laughs> like, that's, that's not on how I edit the footage. That's on how the footage was recorded with to begin with. <laughs> See Scar's Volcano, the big mass of stone, yeah. I saw the thumbnail for it. Who talks to somebody like that? Oh lordy. Yeah, no, there's a lot of really narcissistic people on YouTube. It's usually, unfortunately, a lot of the people who are younger start channels and then they like blow up off of something. They like I had a few people that like I used to work with, they were chill people. And then they got this random big subscriber boost and then they passed me in subs and all of a sudden they just started having all these demands and ways where they, they thought that I should behave around them now because now it was m them doing me a favor by recording with me and I'm just like, whatever. I do love looking back, like the, the petty, the petty king in me uh, loves to look back and be like, ha, your channel has grown like they were at like 5k subs when they were being rude and wow look at that they're at 10k subs now and uh when i was at 2000 subs and oh my gosh wow i'm over a million now everybody gets what's coming to them eventually you're only gonna make it so far if you're actively burning bridges on youtube we love a petty king <laughs> Not going into the story at all, but uh, I, we had a family member call us recently and they had some drama come up with their their extended family. Uh, and they were calling to talk to Sid to get some advice. And I was in the background because we were just eating dinner and they called. And so I was there talking and Sid's like giving hey, all this real. advice Thank on how to be nice and to like uh, let it just pass over and like how to keep them as friends and like move beyond it i'm just like or or you could just burn that bridge <laughs> i was also like maybe don't but like you could <laughs> like if they're being rude like just dish it right back <laughs> That's just me. Uh, Cup of Sars, thank you so much for the dono and becoming a member. How did I miss the membership? Thank you so very much for that, my dude. Thank you for being such an inspiration to all crafters. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out. What are we farming? Azalea leaves with a happy byproduct of oak logs. Look at all these oak logs. Pleased to meet you. That, and that was, this was empty. This was almost completely empty. And now I got that. Hey, Cuddly, thank you so much for the four months. Does the stream count for Wednesday? Nah, we'll stream again on Wednesday. You kidding? We're gonna have more leaves to farm. Don't you be silly. You think this is enough leaves to finish this project? You see how big that tree is? That's like 30,000 leaves up there already. You wanna see what's, ooh, lighter check, good. And that's only up to there. I gotta, we gotta go whoop. I'm gonna start leaving airspace between because I don't wanna just be green mass on top. Like, I really like being able to peep in and, like, see some of the branches and things. Why don't you let people play on your world? Uh, if I'm running a single-player series, I like to keep it single-player. 
Um, if I'm running a multiplayer series that's designed for multiplayer, I've let some people on this world for funny bits and things every once in a while. But overall, I single player for me, I love single player. I think that's a big thing too. I think a lot of people should do that. Like that's a, it's a very healthy way to play Minecraft is if I want to play with friends, I'm going to have a series and a world that's for me and my friends. But I also love having my single player world because it shows that I did it. Everything in this world that has changed is me. Like I've done everything in here. Uh, the only things that are not me to begin with is if I've got on a redstone farm from somebody. But outside of that, everything else is my design, my take, my way of doing it. And I think that's really cool to be able to, be to look joke. at, look back and be like, wow, I made all of this. Like this is everything that I've, like this is my passion project. This is what I've done for Please me to you. and all these things. And I just, I love that feeling and kind of having that. Whereas I think sometimes if you're playing on a single player world and then you let friends in and then you, they come in and they build their little house over there. And like, sure, you can be like, wow, it's fun seeing blah, blah, blah's house over in the corner. But also like, they still influence the world. Not that that's a bad thing. But for me, like the way that I keep my motivation on this world is really going for that like, I did all that and I'm really happy that I did all of it. Excuse me. Sorry. So I don't know. There's multiple trains of thought on it, but that's why I keep this single player. Uh, Yuki, thank you so much for the seven months at tier one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Newt, Newt, Newt. Thank you so much for coming to support her. How late am I? Uh, two and a half hours, but it's fine. You're here now. That's what matters. You can watch the VOD later if you'd like. Well, come on in. One point twenty by thirty. What's that? James, thanks so much for coming to member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No watch. I know I still have steps left in this hour, and I know I haven't moved at all. Leave me alone. I have only have trees. All I know is destroying trees and shearing leaves. Right, that should be enough to finish us. Thoughts on Roblox? Not for me. If you enjoy it, I'm happy for you. That's great. I think video games appeal to different people in different ways, and that is excellent. But that doesn't mean that I have to play every video game out there. Or do I have to love every video game out there? It is completely okay for me to not Please like to a video you. game and for somebody else to love that game. I think that is fantastic. Same with music, same with everything. It's okay for people to like things that you don't like. And I've... Roblox is not a game that appeals to me at all, so... Not for me. Catherine, has been... Catherine and Jimmy have been trying to get me to play Roblox for long enough that I'm just like... Mm -mm. Uh. It's almost out of stubbornness at this point that I'm like, I refuse to ever play Roblox. Have you considered including bits of live stream into your regular episodes? I record a lot of the footage from the live streams and bring them in. So some of the montages you'll see in the videos are from live stream footage. But as far as like face cam and everything, I don't typically. Unless it's like a really funny moment, like a near death or something. Like I'm probably not going to cut that in. I just, I don't like having my face cam on videos too much because I don't really, like I, I'll use it on streams and everything because whatever um it's nice to be able to hang but i don't think it would enhance my video at all i think if anything it would take away from my videos so i typically just don't but i think that's okay like I, I think it comes down to the way the creator functions like jimmy uh solidarity him having a face cam like on his videos is like the core part of his videos like him reacting Jimmy, Jimmy's content is very much about his reaction to how things are happening and what's around him, but it's very centered on him. Where a lot of my content is more centered around what I'm doing in the game instead of being centered around like me as a person. I, di I like I try and throw in my personality and everything in here and there as I'm going, but like I just like to build things in Minecraft and I don't want to think about like is my face reaction ah like I that's not me. 
it's i mean you know a lot of <laughs> if you watch enough of my streams yeah i kind of have a little bit of a resting b face sometimes so i'm sure if i was playing something intense like a doing like a i mean mcc stream sometimes i'm literally just like this and not talking or i'm just like there's somebody around the corner they're around the corner somebody get around the corner. i'm just like doing call outs like <laughs> i don't know But all I'm doing is like staring like this. You can't even see my eyes because I'm like full on intense mode. Did you like Minecraft Legends? I loved Minecraft Legends until I hated Minecraft Legends. It was so fun until you, but I will say this is very much a preface of I'm a big strategy game player. I love strategy games. I have well over 5,000 games played in StarCraft 2. I have probably well over a thousand games played in StarCraft 1. I probably in Age of Empires 2 would not be surprised if that's also above like two, three thousand games played. I know on Warcraft 3, I have like four or five thousand games played there too. I play a lot of strategy games and I love play being competitive in strategy games. Like that is where my hardcore gamer comes out is either in strategy games or MMOs. And usually it's in like the P PVE, like rating scene in MMOs. Um, so I get very, very competitive in them. I love to analyze them. I love to break them and figure out the exploits and do whatever I can do to win. And then Minecraft Legends just was fun. The campaign was fun. And then when multiplayer launched, like there was no ability to queue with your friends. So you had to go in with full randoms unless you fixed lobbies. So we learned how to fix lobbies. And then we're doing that. And then what it would turn in it, so we could have our friends on the same team before they released the patch that you could team up together. And now that's in there. So you can queue with your friends. That's great. Um, and be on the same team. Great. But like all of that came in. And then there's still like, if you don't have four people, you will get a random fourth player coming in and with all resources being shared everything being shared and a random person who you can't communicate with because there's no in-game chat in a strategy game there's no way to talk to your friends that you're working with unless you're in a discord call outside of it or on a phone call or whatever it might be but there's no way to communicate with them um there is now they've they've added something so you know a lot of these things have been changed but i just haven't booted the game back up to try uh, to see if I'm going to enjoy it again. Mostly because I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. It's going to take a big patch to get it back. But then, like, we got to the point where, like, if you queued with random people, they would just start breaking your buildings down. Like, you'd build all these things, get all this tech done, and then some random person would join who didn't know how the game worked because there's no good tutorial system for it outside of, like, a quick 30-second campaign tutorial. And then they assume you play the campaign before you do any multiplayer games which is not good for an online game. Like there needs to be more forced tutorials for those, even just like 10 minutes of tutorial gameplay before you can play online. Um, and so, I don't know. It's just, it's one that just had so much potential. I was really excited for a Minecraft title to have a cool strategy game behind it. it sounds so fun. And then it just completely fell flat. Like it was just, I was so sad. I wanted it to be good so badly. I put the first week it was out, I probably put like 40, 50 hours into the game just because and a lot of that was like learning build orders to the point where I never lost an online game. <laughs> like anytime I queued up online and played, I never lost. I, I played like 40 games and I had a hundred percent win streak. <laughs> I literally never, I literally never lost. Um, what was your StarCraft 2 League? I haven't played StarCraft in years. I used to be high Master League. I played a lot of Wings of Liberty and I was in the top Master League. I almost made Grandmaster after Season 1 finished, but I was... I placed uh, 203rd instead of 200th. So I was just outside of Grandmaster. But I was a, I was a Zerg player. Uh, yeah, I would love to build a mosque and do some stuff like that. I think there it's a really beautiful architecture style. Um, but I've done it in the past and I, no, I actually, I didn't do it in the past. I literally threw out the idea of wanting to do it. And my comment section on that video was filled with so much hate 
from people just being losers on the internet um that i've decided that i just i'm not building any real world religious structures in anything i make whether that's a like a mosque a church a cathedral any like a buddhist temple like i just any of those things i will i just i don't build religious structures anymore i'll use architecture influence from around the world but as far as like calling something a religious structure unfortunately people on the internet are too volatile to really understand so i've just decided i'm not doing it anymore we are so close we are absolutely so close and i have one choker box we're gonna have to go fix Ugh. anyone wants to dig in the new minecraft lo-fi tracks yeah i have them in the playlist here so some have been playing I love them. The Minecraft ones are really good. The Minecraft Dungeons ones aren't my favorite, but I do enjoy them. Thank you kindly. But I once put hundreds of hours into training my Crobat and Golduck and Pokemon Pro to have a beastly strategies and basically use just them to wreck the Elite Four. So yeah, <laughs> I understand what you're talking about. Lol. Yeah, I I really I really enjoy strategy games. I think that's where a lot of my gaming skill can come in from. Like being able to pick up on what other people are doing and like being able to figure out how to counteract that um and like the strategy sense of the like unit compositions and things like that so i enjoy a lot of that but i don't know we're gonna have to go repair this we're gonna have to go repair the hose again that's annoying maybe we just repair this one let the wither skelly farm up to like half and then we jump back out here We didn't get all these flowering leaves to fill sh four shulker boxes of it. We've been done a long time ago. But nope, here we are. You're doing the right thing. It's sad, but it's best for you. Yeah, I mean, it's. I just want to create a safe space for anybody and everybody who is willing to be part of a safe space. If you're actively, like, disrupting the safe space that we're creating here, like, you're not welcome here. But. If you're not, I want to create a safe space for everybody. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people on the internet that make it their goal to ruin that for others for whatever their reason might be. And so I figure it's one of those things where you got to pick your battles. And unfortunately, that turned into a battle that I'm just not willing to pick because I don't think it's I don't think there's any way of winning that. There's just no matter what happens, there's not going to be a way to win that one other than just ignoring it and carrying on and it's not something i want to ignore because i i don't want people in my community feeling like they can be here and actively like being excluding other people i just i don't think that's right so if that means i put up guards and guardrails so that uh i can kind of keep it a safe space for everybody i'll, I'll do that if i have to hey thomas how you doing welcome on in we're gonna go repair the hoe, real quick, because it's down to 43 durability. Have you ever played Command & Conquer Red Alert? Command & Conquer I played a little bit as a kid, but I just never really got into it a whole lot. It was fun, but it was never something that I just like completely fell in love with, because I just, I just felt like it was a worse version of StarCraft. <laughs> so you and me have no souls because we're Red Huts. Yeah, 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 you know, just so much childhood trauma from that. Thanks, South Park. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I went to... I met up with some kid, uh, some people that I went to grade school with recently, randomly, and we were just talking about things like that. There's some of the people I went to high school with, uh, like grade school through high school and everything, and we were talking about things like that, and I was just like, yeah, and, and we were talking about somebody, and I was like, yeah, I just did not like him at all after a while and they're like why what happened you guys used to be good friends i was like well literally uh he wouldn't stop making jokes about how i didn't have a soul after south park's episode came out to the point where i it like became like a form like very much was like a trauma for me for a long time of like i just absolutely hated it and literally since those episodes came out i haven't watched i haven't watched south park since I wasn't a big fan of it to begin with because most of South Park humor is just making fun of people and I feel like there's so many better ways to make jokes. But 
is what it is. Are you planning on upgrading the tree with leaves? Missed the surprise late night stream, Sag? Nah, we're still going. We got we got another shulker box to fill. Gotta fix up the hoe. And we'll get back to it. Just don't need toxic people in your life. Yeah, I, I very much go about the point of removing toxic people. I, w I very much like stay on the line of like, I know people can be going through a hard situation where they do like, you can be going through a hard situation and lash out a bit because like, it's the way you're processing things. And as long as you can acknowledge that and like come to terms with that and like apologize for it after, like that's not great, but it's better than nothing. Ah, oh, you're a snowflake, I see. Yo, oh, yeah, there you go. Yep, let's just throw a snowflake around. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, Blocky. Thanks. Preparing for bed. Hope you're doing well. Hey, good to see you, Thomas. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just forever grinding leaves. Is this the longest stream you've ever done? No, 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 no. We used to do 12-hour streams over on Twitch. I just did not enjoy them. <laughs> I felt like it was a thing that I had to do as a streamer, not because I wanted to. And now I'm just not doing it anymore. Snowflakes are so precious. Yeah, exactly. They're pretty. Yeah, if y'all gotta go, no worries. No worries. I know it's getting pretty late. It is blocky, you're right, you're right. I feel like if you're the person who's just like, oh yeah, so you're a snowflake, you're probably like the reason for quite a few people's trauma. <laughs> like I, if you're calling somebody a snowflake because they're like talking about like, oh yeah, no, like this really messed me up as a kid. You're probably the reason why a lot of people are in therapy. <laughs> at least like a few like at least like you can't deny there's probably at least a few people <laughs> are you gonna do a harvest cycle to collect more saplings no i have a moss farm that makes all the saplings if i need them never gonna watch these because i'm australian welcome on in And then they're also definitely over there be like, I wasn't that mean. No, come on. And then somebody's like, no, you did this. And they're like, no, there's no way. No, 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 no. And you're like, actually, no, here's a video of you doing it. And they're like, no, 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 it's fake. Trying to blow it off. Made the comment, are you talking down on South Park's humor? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I mean, South Park tried to get away with everything because they're like, we're mean to everybody. And it's like, well, that's probably not great. Probably not great. I mean, I'm sure there's other things, but I don't, I, there's probably other things that have stuck around more than like what, like South Park's like joke towards genders and everything and like having no souls. But I can't think of many things from South Park, probably because they didn't apply to me directly that are still like present in like today's society that were like South Park jokes when we were kids that like, I'm still like thinking of. But I mean, definitely the redhead one and because it applies to me the most. There we go. Want to suggest making the desert trees similar to the oaks with Spanish moss here in Florida? Hmm. I definitely want to add a few more types. I really want to add more of those like bamboo with the azalea leaf. Or not azalea. Uh, savannah leaf that we have. But I, I just need to get around to doing it. This song's kind of a vibe. It's Other Side. It's Minecraft soundtrack. Let's sleep here.
This has been weird. Alright, there we go. My earbud was like sitting in my ear weird. What blocks go best with stripped warp stem? The warp plank works pretty well. Um, depends how you're trying to use it, to be honest. Spruce? I like spruce a lot. Um, we don't need to rant too much about South Park and all that. That's we, we can we can drop that one. No need to continue the hate and everything like that. Uh, bird draws. Thank you so much for the seven months. Will there ever be a big nether tree? I don't have plans for a giant nether tree right now. That being said, my original plan from the giga tree world tree tree big big boy tree that we'd be building right now um is to eventually extend like roots going down into the nether i've always thought would be really cool the reason i haven't done it is because pillaring over lava lakes to build a floating thing from the nether roof coming down sounds terrible and then it's also going to make me want to redo the nether roof so i haven't done you. that but i don't know that's kind of a loose plan i had on top maybe eventually there'll be one on top of the nether roof because we're kind of building everything on top of the ceiling but i really do want to expand that like end stone type build with the colors and everything on all the frog lights and whatnot up there i want to expand that and turn into like a circular city of sorts where you can go around and then we'll have a lot more ice boat roads and things i think it could be really cool but i haven't i haven't got there quite yet I'm, I'm like starting to get into the idea generation phase for that and writing things down but like nothing is hooked in so much that I'm like ooh I want to do this now so we'll see see when we get there what about turning a mushroom island into a hobbit shire because of the gorgeous grass you do moss covered mushrooms we don't have a mushroom island close to us, unfortunately. And I really want to build things that I can travel to by foot. I, I know it's, I mean, it's fine. People can do it however they want. But the uh, thought of having to like travel through the nether, which I know I do a lot of. Actually, I'm going to put those in the shulker. Um, to like get places just more quickly. I don't like being feeling like I have to be forced to travel through the nether. If I have to travel through the nether, I want it to be a quick trip. Even like getting out to New Papyrus and back, like that to me is a long trip in the nether. I don't want to do anything more than that if I'm like trying to go to a build location. Everything I, I do, I want to be linked up by roads in the overworld and something that like we could just get a horse and travel and be there in like two or three minutes. Like anything beyond that, I feel like is there's a build that I could be doing sooner that's closer. And I just need to find where to put that build and like slowly expand the world and slowly grow the world outwards, you, you know? I'm just a lazy, lazy Minecrafter. If, if I have to keep going back and forth between my base to get materials to come back and blah, 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 I just get so unmotivated. <laughs> I'm just like, God, I have to go again? Uh. <laughs> I'll like come back with a shopping list in mind. I'm like, I'm not leaving until I have all these. If I go back, I'm not coming back again. We have oak logs at home. We don't need to go back to the storage room. Is there a double village and double gigatree? I mean, different definitions on laziness, I guess. I just want to be building. I don't want to be traveling around. And if I'm in building mode, I want to be placing blocks. If I feel like I have to get out of the zone and go back and pick up the thing and do that and then come back, not only does it kind of mess up the footage I'm working on, especially like a time lapse, it really messes up time lapses. So like that, it just is annoying. I get so annoyed having to go back and forth. 
we have them at home. That's the problem. Exactly. We're gonna be just a few shy. That's so sad. Need eight and a half sacks. This is not eight and a half stacks. So close. Well, I think the hoe is now over 100,000 uses. That's pretty cool. Or something. I'm not much of a Minecraft stat chaser, but it definitely, like, I don't actively go out of the way to be like, I'm going to do this grind because it's going to require me to break this many blocks and it's going to be really cool. But, like, I also kind of look at my stats every once in a while. I'm like, yeah, I did all that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> still streaming and back welcome back hope we're almost there we need eight stacks of azalea leaves and then i'm calling it we got the we'll have filled the 12 shulkers and i think that makes the thumbnail i made for today's stream accurate just help Gonna be get gonna be about bedtime for me. Hey, no worries. Thanks so much for hanging. You have a good one, alright? Leaves for days. You ain't kidding. Thomas, I don't know if you were here earlier when I said it. I placed twenty thousand azalea leaves yesterday to empty those shulker boxes. And now today I fill them right back up. We go again. <laughs> Wish you did longer streams. I get really tired on stream. Like I, I'm starting to feel like I'm reaching my max. It's fun. I, I enjoy streaming, but like I can definitely feel like when my energy levels are like, Ugh. and it really just like makes me a zombie for the rest of the day. I'm very much an introverted person, so streaming takes a lot of energy out of me. Especially when streaming, usually when streaming ends, that means I need to, whenever I finish streaming, that means then I have to start working on like how I'm going to turn that stream footage into a video and blah, blah, blah. So like the longer I stream, the more I have to go back and like rethink through everything that I did on stream and get the footage and everything like that. So thank you kindly. Fun fact, I have eaten dinner, cleaned two rooms in my apartment, gone to get my deliveries from our package concierge and you were still streaming. This is like the never-ending stream. Low. No, it's it's uh we got two and uh twenty-six. Two stacks and twenty-six. And then we're done. Let's grow one here, finish that line. Why not? Just gonna put a marker here. We don't need to get these last few trees in. It is raining so freaking hard outside right now. Wow. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that much rain. Oh, I'm not looking forward to taking the dogs out. I'm supposed to do this all week, too. <laughs> I love spider season. I love spider season. It was really nice falling asleep with the rain last night. It was very, very peaceful. Sideways rain, I've had that, then my house leaked. Oh, sideways rain is a, is a Seattle staple. Hard to get away from the sideways rain. I think we're done oh we did it oh thank god 12 shulker boxes of azalea leaves so let's make sure they're all full just to be super duper sure and there's another floor of flowering azaleas <laughs> Yeah, woo. 
Okay, we did it. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here you go. Times mind. Nice. 69,194. <laughs> We have past red sand with azalea leaves. <laughs> also, I do love that times used red sand, 65. <laughs> the ratio, the ratio of gathered to used. It's almost one to 1,000 or 1,000 to one. That's so funny. Is there anything else close to that? I said, or terracotta is kind of close. Oh, end stone, end stone's there. Yeah. Uh, pack dice. Well, I haven't used that much pack dice. Surprising. Oh, I guess I must use blue ice just for the flex. Oh, there we go. Double tall grass. God, that's funny. Times used. The hoe has now passed netherite axes. We're almost, we'll probably finish with over 200,000 uses on the netherite hoe before we finish this project up. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of stuff. Axes are now above sand, though, so I do like that. That's pretty nice. Collecting for the life tree, exactly. How much? How many oak logs have we mined? 23,000 oak logs? Okay, so we're still 2,000 behind Acacia and 3,000 behind Spruce. As it should be. Plus two, plus two. Nice, nice. Oh, I, uh, we want to bring this with us. Actually, I'll leave that there. I want to do a quick coming back to look at this. Don't end? Nah. 5,110. This took us, what? I mean, we've been here for three hours. It took us almost. Three hours, I guess. Yeah, I guess 20 days makes sense for that. A little, little, I think I was, we started at like, what, 94, 93, something like that. 5,093 or something. But here you go. We'll, we'll be back on Wednesday, live stream it again. Uh, this is where the Giga Tree's at right now. It's looking pretty good. I'll show you all some shaders. If you don't have the craft table, by the way. <gasps> I'll go back and get it. Okay, if we lose the crafting table, we have oak logs now. But it's looking pretty good. Like, the, where the canopy's coming in and everything's kind of adding up together, it's starting to look pretty good. I'm trying to make some sections that droop down a little bit like those just to get some variety to it, but I like it. It's getting there. The backside is where I'm still working, so, you know. Those mountains. I want to finish those soon. Those, those deserve the love. This is also going to be a really cool place to work in eventually. I kind of want to redo the island completely, but then also I'm debating on just like sinking the island and turning into a lake. That could be really fun. Hard to imagine this world's almost two years old. I know, right? There's going to be so many more oak logs that we're going to get out of this. Oh boy. There's the crafting table. Now the sun's moved a little bit. I might get a better angle on the tree. Whale rock. It doesn't... Yeah, it still looks pretty whale-ish. Now that we have the mountain next to it, it really, like, takes away from the whale. It doesn't pop as much. Yeah, look at that silhouette of the tree right there. That's good. That's really, really cool. The only thing that I'm worried about now is, like, this is all just mob spawn territory. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. that sh leg <laughs> that's from the tree that is the shadow cast by the tree <laughs> oh that is so funny oh my gosh I was not expecting that
Are you gonna put end rods in it again? Like more in there? I'm not gonna add any more than we already have in there. Uh, I'm not planning to add any end rods to the leaves. We have a little glow lichen up there that you can see that I wanted for like super subtle lighting. Unintentional mob farm. So what I did the first time on the tree, you can see some of the spaces in these probably. I just can't find anything to point out. But I ended up basically going to the top and just drilling down because it's such a big, large canopy. You can't tell. Like you could not tell that I just went through and just went and just cleared some like full spaces that would stop the mobs from being able to spawn in. Like there's a few like back over here. I'm sure you can see like those. Like you can see some of them right there that where I know this is spawning mobs, so I'm not going to land. Um, but yeah, so like you can see those holes right there. I just dug those wherever there was mobs spawning down here and wherever they could spawn, I would just dig a hole and it would cause the sunlight, the 15 light level to go in and spread. And so eventually that made it spawn for Earth. So I'm just going to redo that again and we'll be a okay. How far has the turtle made it up the waterfall? I want to know. I must know. Has the turtle made it to the water? The turtle has not made it any farther. He is still paused right there. Good boy. The little bugs I forgot the name of that termites? Or Minecraft silverfish? Bugs that eat through walls, yeah, termites. If we're talking about real bugs. Shame they haven't tweaked that for a more builder friendly experience. That's how you never see me building floating islands. I hate that the underneath just turns into a mob spawner. I think it's one of the stupidest things, but I also don't have a better solution for it. So unless I have a solution for something, I don't rant about it. All right. Speaking of which, though, that's going to be it for stream today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. I really do appreciate y'all hanging. Uh, hope you all had a good time. Thank you, everybody, so much for all the support today. I really do appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rain is raining so hard. I can hear, I can see it coming through the microphone audio bar. Wow. That's some rain out there. Cause I have a pretty good seat. My AC does not come through on the mic. <laughs> the rain is coming through on the microphone, <laughs> but thank you everybody so very much for the support. I really do appreciate y'all are absolutely amazing. We'll be back again, streaming again on Wednesday. Uh, probably just some more working on this project or who knows I might need a break and we'll go do something else I don't know but thank y'all so much for being here that's it for me today so I'll catch y'all on the flip side bye